Hey, we can play the game if anyone wants. Hang on, bring it up. Load game. Hello. What's going on? On, on. Someone play Crazy Frog for me. In text. You need to sound out the onomatopoeia of Crazy Frog for me, please. Only my most loyal chatters will follow this command. Everything by the numbers. Thank you, Obsidian. Ding, ding. Now the rest. Next one, please, Dad, says, I'm actively playing Newfoundland right now. Pray for me. I think you should extract. <laughs> Just fucking with ya. Yeah, kill those lids. You're gonna be fine. Ask him, please, Dad. Things are relatively quiet for the moment. Guess we should enjoy it while it lasts. Yes. Is it, it Gauss time? I have two Gauss rifles building. I have no workshops building. Is it Gauss time, Jeeves? Laser cannon, laser cannon, laser cannon. Laser cannon, stingray, stingray. Someone should be more of those laser cannons. If you're wondering why we're looking at such bougie things like, can we afford more items? It's because, if you missed it, we completed a large landed at the end of last uh, stream, last weekend. Puts me in a nice position to start this uh, special little stream, doesn't that? I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Puts us back to a high number of alloys, considering how low we'd got from uh, the stupid fucking alloy shiv. Woke mobile. Why did I build you, woke hound? It was such a, such a waste of time. It's always a waste. It's always a trick. Alloy shivs are always a trick. Don't buy one. If you do buy one, buy it early at least, where it can bully things. Don't buy it later, anyway. Learn from I my mistake. I have difficulty understanding how such an advanced species could show so little empathy for the lives of other sentient beings. It goes against everything we have ever imagined. The technology is there, but with it comes a callousness we would never have expected. What could have brought them to this? It's actually a really good point. PG says that... Oh, by the way, what brought him to this is the crazy frog. PG says ships get a suppression mod, you need that. Yeah. They haven't really got much ammo, though, but yeah, I could always use more suppression. I need more Gauss, okay. We have two Gauss rifles coming. I would also like an auto rifle and a GMG, because those things are sick. Especially with more ammo for suppression, it's always cool. Don't think I want a stutter gun. I kind of haven't really been using SMGs this run because I've just needed the damage so hard. You get paid in like three hours. Uh, I get paid in like 12, 13, 14 hours, which is why I'm not scanning yet because those 14 hours might be important. You need the money for the workshop block. Yeah, that's the thing. Now, I, I want to start building these things, but I also kind of want them to show up after like some workshops get built. Like, maybe if I get paid, I can use the foundry money to... But I need to do satellites next month. I feel like I'm just not going to get... I feel like I'm just not going to get it done in time, you know? One thing's for sure, I think I'm going to have to sell more Illyrium. Again. Because I'm trying to think, like, is there any way I could possibly... No, they cost 200 each. Possibly get up a workshop and foundry block before I get the Gauss done. I don't think so. Bandit says, sell more Illyrium and just be never landed easy. I think I can get the workshop block done... For, like, before Pulse and, like, Powered Armor and Mechs and shit. Which, by the way, um, I, got, I seem to have got a ton of meld from that large lander because I have more than I ever would have dreamed of in this campaign suddenly. I have 178. That's really good. I could actually maybe... I, I could feasibly perhaps think of going for, for meld now. Uh, for, for Mechs now. Which is cool. Wouldn't mind that. Having, like reliable collateral damage, like just reliable shoguns, could change the entire campaign. Not just for destroying the enemy, but for the flexibility it brings in making the map look the way you want it to before contact as well. Making good cover positions and denying the enemy future cover. Peter says you get 80 mil to large, yeah, and it was huge. So getting like just a bunch of like shoguns could be really really good. I actually don't have money engineers, which is something to consider. But we are VR training a lot, so it's fine. 
And the style, don't forget the undeniable Shogun style, that's true. Really glad that so many of you are continuing. Okay, well actually it's just Salty Soul is continuing to sound out Crazy Frog. I assume Salty Soul will continue until the end of Crazy Frog. Uh, don't mind them in chat, they're doing a good job. Thank you, Salty Soul. Yes, ring ding, di di ding ding, ring ding, di di, ba ba. Well done, Salty Soul, keep it up, well done. To completion, please. Um, yeah, I... I think that the Gauss Rifles are very important to get done for, as we keep saying, we keep ending up in flank situations where we just don't have the damage to finish off enemies. You do lose the, like, six aim, but the value in the extra damage, because against mechanical threats, which are a big deal for us right now, the, it's not just a plus one damage, it's also, like, um, ignoring of DR, right? Or do you not get that by default? Do you have to get quench guns for that? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's by default. I also think I might need to install that mod to fix quench guns this run, which I don't usually bother with. Also more ammo, right? Yeah, that's the other big thing, is they get more ammo. So that's huge, they get plus one on all Gauss. So if we could get an auto rifle and a machine gun, that's four members of the squad done. We don't have a sniper and the two shotguns ready yet, so perhaps one more Gauss rifle and then a GMG and an auto rifle is what I need. And that would be, I mean, an absolute boatload of alloys, but that's what they're for. They're for spending. More importantly, it would be about $300. You need to sell some lurium. It's for selling, folks. Get it out of there. You can win a campaign on Gauss. Worst case. It's it's not something you want to wait around on. You do you will be using Gauss for a very long time when it comes down to it. Did I already build the uh, laser for Wokehound? I think I did. I need to build them. I can't build it for them yet. Anyway, actually, it doesn't matter. There we go. All right, very good. So, oh, try not to step on my cords too much. Yeah, that's done. Now I think we can carry on. So the surgeries. Oh, I don't think I did yet. Actually, I didn't yet. I can, but I didn't yet. I should have. Should have sold all of this. We'll wait because we're gonna sell those in a second to get um everything else built. Banny says woke me build needs to skip to Gauss just for extra ammo expressions. Yeah. Did did I did I go so crazy? I did. I remember saying it. I, I remember the, the smug voice I said it in when I was like, and I'll even give you guys the super heavy laser for the shift. I, I remember the way you all cheered. Whoa, whoa. It was like You were so happy with me, you were like. Yeah. And then Wogmobile got like destroyed on their first mission, and I was like. I was not happy. I didn't see Mr. Worldwide at the end, I said. Yeah, I, I don't know. I was just overtaken to become a radio DJ at that point and just use, like, all my sound effects at once. <laughs> We're carrying on. Mr. Worldwide, I like that. That's quite good. Oh! Okay, now hang on. Hold on now. Hold on. This is unprecedented. I have to go back on the menu. You don't get the Berserker menu yet. We're still in July. We are still in July. I was not expecting another mission right here. So I actually have to go to the menu. And I have to go back to the old menu, which I was not expecting. Because this is July still. And we're doing it month by month. So you actually don't get this, this new menu yet. Shit, this is awkward. Really annoying, honestly. Just give us them 12 hours early. I don't think you deserve it. Cheap mech toys though. Maybe you do deserve it. Okay, yeah, maybe you do deserve it. You're right. <laughs> maybe, maybe you do deserve to get berserkers just a little bit early. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? Okay. Yeah, we're going to keep the menu as is. You're right. You're right. What's worse, Berserkers are cheap mechs? Probably cheaper mechs. Okay. Alright, we're gonna use the new menu, fuck it. 
The new menu is up. Fuck it. We're doing it. This is probably a bad idea still. Why not both? No, you can't have both. Make sure you're using the new menu. I will not be accepting $25 mectoids today. I'll be accepting a lot of things. God damn. What are we gonna do? I, need, I got 24 hours. Anybody back in 24 hours? No. So you've got what you've got. Iron skin, dense smoke, adaptive bone. Dense smoke is slightly less great. Uh, with berserkers showing up, but you never know when it'll be good. I need, like, my absolute A-team for this. There must be better people. Sorry, but there must be better people here. Flush, close encounters. Yeah, I need damage, that's right. Close encounters and rapid fire. You're on the mission, I think, Romulon. I need overwatchers, too. Is AQL back yet? I think she's close, but no, she is certainly not. Smoke and mirrors. Just pretty much a flashbang, huh? For the berserkers, maybe? Maybe actually a good idea. A little rapid fire, or just more shotgunning. Let's see. I do think mayhem overwatchers will be the key here. I think I already used a bunch of them, though. Yeah, bug skipper's out. Brit's not here. I don't have anyone like that ready, is the problem. They're all out. Just gonna have to make it work with the best I got then. Maybe I should be respecting Ariok now that we've got extra money. Extra meld, I mean. Chris Tucker does really well in Terrors. Let's kill Sammy's on again. Yeah. We will need Rocketeers, that's true. Maybe damping for you, Ezekius. You're not the perfect Rocketeer for this, I'll say that much. We, we gotta look through here. Who Who's perfect? Lots of rapid fires. Grenades. Hollow will be important. Hollow is important, I think. So probably bring you, because Berserkers are notoriously hard to hit. So that would be really good. To deal with. Lock and load, lightning. Uh, less on you. For this one. Friendly's almost reached our next level. I hope it's something good, Friendly. Pixie Hamaketu. Packmaster, always good on an engineer. Never anything wrong with that. It is done. Thank you, so salty salt. Thank you for that. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. You go will to survive and shock absorbent as well, but that might be, uh... Probably not advisable. Did you change your range of No, I didn't change any of that stuff. I did not. Your repair. It's not your time yet, kid. I don't have any Rocketeers, so it's probably just gonna have to be a Zekius by default. It's gonna be a hard mission because no one's ready because we just all went on the large landed. Really rough to have a large landed and then like two hours later have a terror mission. It's rough stuff. Bring a Zacchaeus. Chromialon, you can go here. Because it might not be Berserkers. No one might even buy them. Chris can be used. Yeah, I know. I know. Smoke and mirrors, or just more smoke in general, is cool, but I think I want damping on the Rocketeer specifically to resist sectoiding in pressure situations. But of course, if they end up rolling dense smoke later, I might end up changing my tune. That is two free smokes. That is pretty good. And we've seen that smokes on Rocketeers are valuable. Maybe don't go for the damping. Maybe just go for the smoke. It's probably going to save more lives than the damping will save you from sectoids. Probably. Though immunity to panic against Berserkers is also useful. Mm. But we need more smoke. We need more smoke all over the place. You could be a contender. Extra AoE for potential Berserker Rush. Plus 
rapid fire or double tap for potential berserker rush. Both good things. Hey, Beagle, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Did I look at you? What do you have? Concealment. And you have Sentinel. That's big. Sentinel against Zerkers is good. Did I actually build an ever? Yes, I did. Okay, so you're probably coming, cliche. True, I could bring some flashes on the Rocketeer as well, but that wastes their rocket slot. Need another Rocketeer. Need some Gunners and Revivers as well. If you wipe, you should do be able for the beta finishes. If the servers aren't busted, I tried to play this morning and it wasn't working, so I don't think there's much to do with BA this morning. Unfortunately. I think of how hard this mission's gonna be, I might be forced to take a uh, better Rocketeer, if not two better Rocketeers. Yeah, like Sentinel, there you go. Smoke and Mirrors with Smoke Grenade again, good. And Rapid Fire, boom, you're good. Flush has been something we haven't had enough of. But Rapid Fire are also good against Berserkers. I didn't manually combo low profile with, um... Damn good ground yet, Ivory. So we're gonna do that manually if we uh, if we get that today. Chris Tucker with rapid fire, lock and load. Chris Tucker should probably be on this operation one way or another, any way you slice it. And then do you take Total Geek or do you take Ezekias? Shredder ammo plus smoke and mirrors versus Sentinel smoke and mirrors. Rapid fire, definitely bring you. Yeah, hopefully we get a break, you know? Like, yeah, it sucks to like, be double dipping so much right now, but I think we need it. You really can't fuck around. With a terror mission, with Berserkers now on the menu as well, you gotta be ready for anything. What else we got? Paramedic. Not revive, but paramedic. Ooh, close combat. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I need gunners, actually, because it's not just going to be Zerkers. Don't tunnel in on just Berserkers as an idea. You don't know what's going to come out of those doors. you got to be ready for anything. No pack master for you, but probably Hollow, because, again, we need Hollow. Hollow is good. I can even get rid of the Hollow infantry then and instead bring uh, some medics. Thanks says we killed God. Oh, awesome. Good for you. I kind of want to see what you're going to get next. Also, we're not going to wipe PG, so don't be so negative. Savior, but again, no revive. We don't have any savior in the team, though, so bringing someone of savior would be wise. But also, again, if you wait a little bit, you'll get to see what our next perk is. That's right, people's never wiped in his life, that's right. I should have no gunners ready. Not even to exhaust. I don't have a lot of them. I have like 11 infantry, which is funny because I rarely use them. I guess I've been looking for good ones. Eight scouts. I, out of all the soldiers I have, I really haven't got that many, like, ready to go. I think, I think I'm just going to have to take these two gunners. They're the best I've got. And hopefully the next thing on their tree wouldn't have been, like, very, like, uh, build the fighting. Because if you end up taking, like, you know, Hollow instead of Packmaster, and then they roll Dense Smoke right after, I mean, you're not going to be pleased. You're not going to be happy about that. Gunner, Gunner, Rocketeer, Rocketeer. Someone needs to make way for a medic, and it's probably you, infantry. At least one medic. Draft will be not friendly yet, because we've just been waiting so long to try and, like, find out what friendly is going to be, actually. I want a friendly who can, uh, uh, not a friendly, a medic who can, like, stay alive for all of this. Or I could have a medic who could rapid fire with a shotgun and kill berserkers. That's good too. What medics could I exhaust? I may need to, I think. Dr. Sensu will still alive, or you could exhaust Bjorn for the reactions against berserkers. But Dr. Sensu will stay alive. They also have Packmaster for more. More everything. You can bring some smokes too, which I don't have a lot of right now in, in, in the team. Bjorn. Recent level up to also have Savior though, which is also based and huge. 
Savior would be good for the big healing, unless... I think I'm gonna take it on Kim, right? I think Kim's just gonna take it anyway. Can't imagine taking the other two on that gunner. Sprinter would be good, but against Savior, I think Savior's gonna be better. Hmm. Your aim is still not very good, Bjorn. And Berserkers have quite a bit of defense. Your reactions wouldn't be great against them. Still waiting to see what Friendly gets. Yeah, definitely. So it's Bjorn and then... Not the Body Shielder. Maybe it's either the Rapid Firer... Or... It's Dr. Sensual. Who can bring extra smokes to that Packmaster roll. Well, does anyone else have any? Here, you're gonna take... Hang on, by the way, also, um... Just gotta get my raffles up, because we have some raffles right here. Where are those giveaways? Redo giveaway... The giveaway is open! Exclamation mark raffle in chat if you want a chance to be one of the newbies. Be Kim here, or to be West as well. You could also be West. Are they targeting? Let's get it. You could be one of these two. You could be. It's me. It's literally me. We'll see, Sammy. We'll see. I think the Savior medic should be. Uh, the Savior gunner should be at the back. West should be at the front. There you go. What do you want, West? What else do you want? Extra smokes, a scope, mayhaps? A grenade for the Zerkers might be wise for this mission, actually. Again, maybe I gotta stop hyperfixating. Maybe no one buys the Berserkers. I'm hyperfixating too hard. Maybe there won't be one. Okay, flush or rapid fire? Flush is also useful, I don't have it in the squad at all here. Because flush lets me trigger reactions early. Though with berserkers you don't really need it, I guess. Having like at least one person of flush though is just good in general. Chromulon does have it here, which is nice. Rapid fire. You also have that too, right? You have Sentinel. For this op, maybe a shotgun. 4 to 8 versus 4 to 6. Plus the close rate bonuses. Yeah, let's go a shotgun for you this time around. You buy Berserkers? Yep, check the new menu. Many grenades being brought on this operation. Hopefully to good effect. I think you with the smoke and mirror is going to bring extra smokes on you. Oh, you've already got two, I guess. Hmm. Rapid double or damping? It's probably got to be rapid. It's probably got to be rapid, I think, for you. Cliché meets the concealment. Your gear looks good. Cordon's Dr. Sensual. Also with the good gear. Ready to do the revives. I just have to make sure that we have smoke, I think. The Crisis says Rapid Fire has been extremely underperforming this campaign, probably because you get it earlier in Training Roulette, and thus the soldiers have lower aim, so it looks worse. Because you're missing way more often. That minus 15 is a hefty penalty, you know, it's nothing to sneeze about. That gives you two regular smokes. And then two more. That's four regular smokes across the squad. That's probably enough for right now without bringing extras. 
And then you just gotta pick between rapid fire or flush. I think flush. I feel like rapid fire would be probably slightly better to have on this mission in particular. But I think flush in general, because you're hopefully gonna be centering against the berserker anyway, not rapid firing. So flush makes more sense anyway for you. And in general for the campaign, actually. So yeah, flush is the choice. Flush is the place. We only have one revived medic for this, which is not my new doctrine, but I think because of the potential threat on this terror mission that we could see, it's probably worth it to just bring a whole bunch of grenades and rockets and shit. Probably a smarter choice. No, AQL doesn't have rapid fire, at least I don't think she does. Unless she got out as her master sergeant, I don't recall that at all. Alright, time to find out. Who is this? Silent Bop, you have won. You're in, Silent Bop. And the second gunner? Jeff Ronks. Jeff Ronks, you're in. Abrams X, Jeff Ronk X, you're in. That's it. There's no, I was gonna say there's no lieutenant, there is an officer. I don't have um, any higher than that yet, do I? No, okay. We do have an officer. Last minute check here, but we should be good to go. The gunners are very low level here, they don't even have nicknames. Very low level indeed. Silent Bop says, tried for years, lol, time to die, I guess. Yeah, this is definitely not a high survivability rate campaign, Silent Bop, but hopefully this is the raffle you've been waiting for. Maybe this is the one, Savior Gunner. Maybe you will be a hero. Maybe you will become a legend in this campaign right here. No one has a motion tracker. Okay, I actually bring that, Jeff Ronks. Isn't Jeff already in the roster? I will check for you. I don't think so, but I will check. One thing we don't have in this squad is heat, which is something to consider. But I feel like we can get away with it with the, the Rocketeers and the likelihood that people are probably going to buy Berserkers. No, Jeff Ronks isn't in. Was Jeff Ronks a dead? No, uh, I think it was a previous campaign. We're, we're all good, I think. This campaign's still going better than the first one, casualty-wise. Also, time-wise. We're about to hit August. Yeah, a lack of heat is something to consider here, though. I don't have any, like, big damage to, like... I have no scout, I just realized. Ha <laughs> I have no scout. It's probably fine because it's terrible. I can probably work around it with the consumer Assault as well. I think it'll be okay for just this once. But that is noticeable. I do not have a scout. Did you bring the info to LR? I didn't. I'm bringing it like everyone else. It's just because I have the, the two engineers. I have two engineers. And the assault. And the two gunners. But I think it's going to work out. Otherwise, one of those engineers would be a scout. But in this case, I think I need to be ready. Hey, just in case I'm not. Uh, where is this? Okay, it would suck to lose a basically unpanicked country for nothing. Capacity. Additional uplink required. But it is what it is. If I have to retreat, I'll have to retreat. Alright. We just don't really have our best and brightest for this mission, but we're gonna do the best we can. So let's do the best we can. Need an NG or something with LR, extra utility, just save one person. Yeah, I don't think I have an NG with LR though. Is the problem. I'll check. Because it would be a consideration. I have an in-zone engineer. Which is actually... Maybe even more than rapid fire. Something to consider bringing for the Zerkers. In-the-zone engineer. 
who could also bring platform stab to combo really nicely together. You could also bring double tap so you get two shot two chances in the zone. In the zone rifle is shit though. Yeah, but you can bring a shotgun. They would basically be a melee clearer. Their job would be to kill four melee things for free. It kind of doesn't really like work well in that sense though, because like an engineer's job is to soften up with grenades for that to happen. So for this mission, it's probably not the best idea actually. Again, just looking if there's an LR engineer, but no, I don't think so. Unless you have something special. Oh, well, well, that is interesting. That changes things. Also brings heat, which we need. A Grenadier with Flush, Heat, and LR, you lose the Rapid Fire. But you gain the Heat, which is important. Yay, I forgot 2PG that I had one. We do need some level of Heat, I think, for what could be coming. Damn good ground. Adrenaline Surge, both of these are no way, it's gotta be LR. Okay, probably get Fajitas in, actually. Drop one of those NGs and get fajitas in, so probably talkative here. Ah, it gets us less smoke, which does suck. But I think Chromulon's the better NG overall, because they also have CE. They have Deadeye, they have Rapid Fire, and Flush. Hmm. You're losing CE. Which is going to be relevant. But you're gaining two smokes, which is also relevant. Another flush, too. Base stats, 8 health, 6 health, 83 aim. Alright, talkative, sit this one out. Bring fajitas. There was an engineer last time, too. I remember fajitas was a great... Uh, they were a great... What's it call it? I just work with shotguns, so I don't give her a shotgun. Give her a rifle. She was a great engineer and a great shogun eventually. How many aliens available? We're gonna find out when we get in there. I forget what I've been doing for terror. I think it's like 15 or 16. No, I can't remember. She's a really good soldier because she has heat primary ammo as well. Alright. So now that brings the heat, which is good. Probably just bring nothing but APs on her then from heat maxing. Then you have two HEs for whatever cover needs to be blowed up. And we'll save those as much as we can. And just be spamming the APs and everything else. Yeah, we've already had the zombie mission. A little light on cover destruction, but I think it's worth it to bring more anti-heat AP potentially. It's 15 till September? Okay, yeah, thank you. So it's gonna be 15 aliens when we get on the deck. Which, by the way... Gordon Online. Whoop. Gordy Online. Thank you, Gordy. Wait for mission. I have to go to the bathroom. I just wanna do, like, one last minute check. I also wanna do your... I'm doing your decos now, because we're gonna live forever now, Gunners. Gunners, we're gonna live forever. We're never gonna die, and we're gonna live forever. Chris Tucker, you also get... Like... Stuff going on with your armor? You get it too? We're gonna live forever, we're never gonna die here. You're very smug, Jeff Ronks, and I approve of it. I'm gonna let you wear a little beanie because you're so smug. You get to keep the guile hair because honestly, you can't keep a guile hair down. Uh, your concealment, so I'm also happy to give you like something very like scaled down. I'll give you like the, yeah, the, the these perhaps. The these ones. Good for you. There's a backwards bull cap of a headset, right? Yeah, you can have that. Maybe this is the tenth terror. I don't know. I 
We have a limited amount of smoke and a limited amount of cover destruction. But I do feel like we can make it work here. Don't forget we have cover destruction on rockets too. It's lower than usual amount of medkits as well. And only one revive, so Cordance really has to stay back. Stair mission, yes. Alright, let's go, I think. Go to the bathroom, be right back. I'll be real quick. Strike one. Prepare for landing. to South Africa for this one, and we need to get down there fast. A number of disturbing reports indicate the aliens are openly attacking civilian targets within a major city. Paper store time. I've been watching that show again recently, Lloyd. Alright, wait. The kitchen is about to open. Confirm signal uplink. Strike team is in position near the terror site. Awaiting confirmation. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike One has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. And the kitchen is open. Fifteen aliens. Buy responsibly. I know you're all backed up after a week away. But try to buy responsibly, everyone. Okay, hang on. Ten seekers. That's wait. Hold your orders. Hold your orders. Hold your orders. Eds, 10 seekers and the orders. drone they bullied into coming along or tails a Super Bowl. Subtle to your strength, let the fates decide. Yeah, uh, hold your orders, please. Please hold your orders. Donation from Thank you very much. Hang on, we gotta work this meet, out. Meet, 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 meet. Meet 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 one berserker please. We just one berserker. Okay, hold on. So we we the one berserker. Yes, that's easy. I'll write that down for you. And I one berserker. Okay, one one berzy. Okay, we're gonna open up the kitchen again in a second. We have to do these first. That's one berzy. Now, the, the thing we have to do is Oxian's um, Joker donation again, as usual. Oxian sent in $63, thank you very much. And to flip a coin, heads, 10 seekers, and the drone they bullied into coming along, or tails, a Super Bowl. Subtlety or strength, let the face decide. And Super Bowl is the new uh, group order, which is two berserkers, three mutons, and a floater. So we have to do this. Hang on, I'm going to get a digital coin flip so you all can see I didn't cheat. Digital coin flip. Just flip a coin. Instant 50-50 toss. Heads or tails? Okay, so heads, it's 10 seekers and a drone. Tails, it's a Super Bowl. I'd rather the heads because that would make this mission way easier. So let me bring it up on screen. Okay. Hang on, hang on. Display. And... Fuck! Alright. Well, we're gonna have a few berserkers on this mission. Okay. So, uh, that was, just to confirm it, that was a Super Bowl. Yeah, okay, it's Super Bowl time. So, that is going to be two, three, six, no, seven. So, that's seven aliens ordered. Boom. Thank you for your patience. The kitchen is back open. You can buy eight more aliens. Eight more aliens. Thank you very much. One times... 
super bowl. So we got some meat on the way already. It's a very muton mission immediately. Where is the LZ? Ooh, interesting. Okay, Griala Rumba, hang on, hold. New Dudici donation hold. from Taikrasis. Oh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Illo whiter it like the new and improved Gris oh. la Rumba. Five, six, seven. That's it. Thank you very much. Twenty more Gris than ever before. Thank you very, very much. We're maxed out. That's all the aliens we can fit in this one tiny, cute little paper shop. Thank you so much. There's a second donation here for one berserker. I got it. Thank you very much. We're maxed out. The new and improved. Wait. Wait, Griella Rumba? Oh, never mind. Not Ladrone, that's Griella Rumba, so that's five. You actually get two more, three more. We are at seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can order three more, my bad. It would have been fourteen anyway. My bad. We're not maxed, I just can't count today. I thought it was the other one that was seven, which would have been wrong anyway. So, you can order three more aliens, sorry everyone. One times new Gri, Gri Plus, which comes of a sectoid leader. Plus Gri. Three more slots, folks. They're gonna- I actually get to look at the map mission now. They're gonna come down long. This is... interesting. Interesting to say the least. Also, the only cover we have here is explosive and berserkers have bull rush. Don't forget the meat. Yes, I, I've written down the berserker, yes. I have on the list Super Bowl, one berserker, and one new plus Gri. And we have three aliens there already. There's two of nades yet. Like, fighting down here is probably not going to end well with all the explosive cover. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. Probably just like rush the nearest contact and try to get rid of it first so I can spread out here. Is this paper shop? Yes, this is paper shop. Man, like this is hell. <laughs> this is hell! Well, if I could save a sieve, there is another option. The other option would be to just go and hang out in the back alley and wait till the berserkers like get close. Then they'll just bull rush me through the wall. Okay. You guys want to add- everyone's like, add mechtoids, make it a wipe. Yeah, if you add mechtoids, I'd probably just end up retreating, yes. On- on this map specifically, we're not gonna have much room to maneuver. Um... If I go over here, into the back... I need to save a sieve. If I go here into the back, I have the back alley. I'm getting doors. There's a lot of lost blockers at the back, which is good. But I'm also farther away from LZ, which is also a problem. I think just try to, like, advance here. To, like, this position, or, like, this position. On the move. Okay, so we actually look kind of clear on the scope, left and right, which is fantastic. Probably just gonna set up for, like, next turn. Like, breaching whatever these one, two, three enemies are. And you're gonna spawn in here. It's gonna be like probably like one turn to get to here. Whoop. Oh, thank you, Oxian. You do a donation from Oxian. <laughs> Thanks for indulging my nonsense. The seekers will fight for next time and go back to bullying the drone in the meanwhile. Thank you for your very generous donating, Oxian. I'd appreciate it. I always appreciate your your Joker donation riddles. I do like them. Thank you, Oxian. I think they're fun. Okay, that's it. We're done. Thank you. We're maxed out. New Trenta save Fuck you, Isaac. Thank Inzac. you very much. Oi. That's it. We're maxed. Writer. Oi. Football. Oi. Three mutons for the man down or endure. Oi. We're maxed out. Thank you so much. So the full order is going to be uh, two berserkers, three mutons, a floater, another berserker, a griella rumba. So that's uh, four sectoids. No. Is it Griella Rumba? It's two sectoids, a level four leader sectoid, and two drones. Yep. And then we're also having three regular mutons. Now, PG is like, don't forget you can run down the back alley. Hey, PG, I was just saying how I was thinking about doing that. PG, like, I saw you riding, like, five lines above that. That 
you said to chat, chat, wait until he gets away from his spawn and then order the mectoids. Like, you, you think I can't read? I know what you're doing. <laughs> no, we're gonna fight around here because it leaves us closer to the LZ in case we need to extract, which is very possible. The cover we want against bull rushing berserkers is we want cover that's indestructible. Because I'm pretty sure if the cover is indestructible, they can't bull rush you. I think. I might be wrong. They might still be able to do it. But uh, worst case, at least if they do do it, I mean, your cover isn't gone. He just says, sometimes I think you can't read. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you're right. If I had collateral, I'd just open up a firing line back here, but I don't. So yeah, we're just gonna like set up to deal with whatever this is in a second. You can bring in, like, a close rocket. And yeah, they're gonna spawn here. They're gonna get to, like, here at the end of their first turn, I reckon. So I've got one turn to kill all this, because second turn they'll be on me. I, I'm not sure. This might activate if you take this wall here. I'm not certain. I'm not certain about that. Who could go there? Maybe don't take that spot at all, because I don't have anyone who can really exploit that spot anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Can you there, go there? Chris... Your range is pretty good. I would probably even say, like, put Chris... Oh, Chris needs to do commands, though. I was gonna say put, like, Chris, like, here. And then Chris is safe, but that's probably a better spot for the medic, actually. I guess Chris can go in the car for now, but you need to move before the berserkers get here. You've also got the Gatling laser to worry about. It's like just not enough spots, of course. And of course, that's the point. There just isn't enough spots here. Rolling. Geek, go there. I'm gonna move up. Inputs. Oh, I'm gonna put the Gatling here. Laser rifle, Brook. Move it up. Cordance, I need you like out of the way. I think. Yes, absolutely, I agree. I did forget I have concealment. Actually, I should have used this. I'm I'm like a... I'm a bit stupid sometimes is the problem with me. That's my problem is I'm a, I'm a little bit stupid sometimes. What I needed to do and what I will do now is I'll use concealment to see what I'm about to run into. Moving to designated position. Sometimes I just... It's harder in TR. There's like a lot going on. Lucky. Good. No, not lucky. Hang on. Fucking disc. Okay, that needs to McFucking die, though, yeah. That needs to McFucking die. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You should have a shot on that if you blow it up. Yeah, disc. I know, guys. Go disc. I know. Go disc. Go disc. I know, guys. I know. I know. I know it's time to go disc. There's really nowhere you can go that's good oh, unless move. this... Maybe let's get a rocket down there steady, hopefully. Go Bills! <laughs> Jeff Ronks says, Weirdly, I don't feel like rooting for the disc in this uh, mission. Jeff Ronks, that honestly is weird. What could the difference on this particular mission be? I'm not sure. Oh, thanks for your live reaction, though. <laughs> XA, yeah. I hope it flies at me. Yeah, good. Good, 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 good. Perfect. I would say perfect, even. We're gonna blow the fuck out of this thing. Three damage on a cyber disc with a shotgun? You better believe this is gonna be a good time. Oh, one of them's getting away, though. One of the drones is like, fuck this shit. <laughs> I see the rockets. Interesting to have an angle there. Yeah, and the disc is landed. This is this is ideal disc killing territory. We love to see this. Uh, that that sieve is pretty 
doomed though, I think. Please run, Civ. Oh, there's a mechtoid on the map too? Natural mechtoid? This is gonna be a very difficult mission. I hear sectoids on my left flank, I think. Stainer extract. It'd be so great if that Civ would run. Would you, would you run? Where the fuck did you go? You fucking... Okay. So... We're gonna do our spawns first. Nya nya nya. Is there any cover to get stuck on here? No, it's just open road as long as you're from here to the left. Okay. So, orders up! Orders up. Hang on. It's gonna be... Uh, one Super Bowl, which is two Berserkers, I'm just gonna check this, but it should be two Berserkers, three Mutons, and a Floater, yup yup, let's go, first Berserker drop, let's go. What? Wait a minute. How do you drop Berserkers? Oh, drop Muton Berserker, there we go. Muton Berserker, yep, one. Okay. And she's in! And the second one. Two Mutant Berserkers. Drop woman. <laughs> Drop large woman. One. Two. Three Mutons. And a floater. Quite a nice bunch of bullshit incoming. Another Berserker. Okay. And the new Griella Rumba, which just to confirm again, the new Griella Rumba is three sectoids, two drones, and one of them is level her leader. So we're gonna go for the first time. Prop four, drop sectoid. Ooh, this one's different. Sectoid berserker. Yeah, let's go. Drop sectoid. Drop sectoid. Drop drone. Drop drone. I always just go I gotta put this like on my fucking wall, man. I gotta like I'm gonna put this on my damn wall so I don't forget it. Yep, that's done. That sector comes with low profile executioner and higher HP, aim, will, and damage, I believe. So watch out. And then finally, three mutons. Drop muton. Drop muton. Drop muton. Well, good news. Everything's on the map. Virgin coming. Yeah. Where is that auto laser? Yeah, motion track me. So there, that's the drone that got away. I want to clear my left flank incredibly quickly so that I can take all of this cover against what's incoming. Prop 8 drops sector commander. Funny story, I actually um, did not write in the menu as sectoid leader because I assumed people would fuck up and think that meant sectoid commander and be mad when they were like, well, where's my $4 sectoid commander with my control? So I was like, I I'm not going to do that, actually. Now then, what I am going to do is try to shred this if I can. For a start. And then uh, beat the brakes off of everyone else. Dr. Ryu says, God, I want to buy a Sectoid Commander. Good news, if we survive till next month, next month is Sectoid Commander month. So right, we only have to make it one more month. To unlock a another new and horrible enemy type. Don't scatter right. This won't scatter right, don't worry. Don't scare towards my soldier either. Everything by the okay, already? Yeah? They're pretty quick. With Chris Tucker wouldn't kill a civilian. Firing no problem. Wheel, 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 wheel. Now, how do we actually kill you? I actually don't have a lot of, like, guns to shoot you with, you know? I think there's no time for suppression. I think we just shoot you with everything. But like, Chris is the one with rapid fire, and you're all like out of position as hell. I guess I could bring you around. But I kinda wanna check my left with you afterwards, if I can be so bold. Kremlin has rapid fire, but I wanna leave Kremlin in the open, and lightning is like all like an awkward thing right now. The best thing to do would be to, I think, Gatling laser you. Good. 
probably don't rock. I'll probably just go for like a rifle shot with the shred. We should deal at least five. One, two, three, four, five. Won't kill you though, will it? No. So who, what, who are we going to kill you with? Jeff Runks can actually move to cover uh, without concern because Jeff Runks is in the spot for that. Jeff Runks could add some extra damage here. And between the heat grenade and or shotgun, I mean, sorry, heat grenade and a rifle, between the heat grenade and everything else, we should be able to get you. That's gonna do, okay, okay, so don't, don't do a rocket. We're gonna do a standard shot. That's not really as much damage as you wanna see, honestly. Get rapid fire? No. This is getting a bit awkward. Honestly. Position confirmed. Hello. Please don't miss. Oh good. Isn't it really cutting it? No, we need that gauss. We do need that gauss. Where's your heat? It's right here. I don't want to just sit in the opening and see incoming drone if I don't have to, so. I, I could, like, move to here and do, like, a heat grenade, but then I lose the Cybertus corpse as well, which isn't ideal. If I could get Dr. Cordens in here, that might be good. I got plans. I got plans. Like, bring bring Dr. Cordens to here, I think. Dr. Cordens will finish off the disc. And then you... Two... I can't scout left of you this turn, I think. So you would have to come back to here. And then you guys would come backwards. And we'd have to, like, shoot the drone down. So definitely was going to kill the Civ. No, the Civ's out of range. So Fajitas would move to here. That should get Fajitas out of Overwatch handily as well. Right? Maybe, as long as your counter is going to this tile, not that one, which it looks to me like you are. Worst case, you do have LR. Also, you're allowed to move one one tile. So it's fine. It's, it's like double fine. It's fine anyway. It's, it's double fine studios. It's no problem. I just didn't want to do that because of the grenade. That's right, because I'm going to use Cordance. I forgot. I already forgot my own idea. So yeah, Cordance is going to come up. Step to here. Shoot the disc. Worst case, if it doesn't work, we finish off with a grenade. But I don't want to. And then between heat grenades and stuff and shotguns, we should be able to kill this drone pretty, pretty good. Okay, let's do it. Be very careful here how we handle this. Yep, no sight, sight, no sight, sight. Okay. Hello, hello. Please hit. Thank you, well done. Perfect. The civilian is fine, of course, as I knew they would be. I know. I know that they would be. And I'm probably gonna bring you up, Cromulon, to shoot here. Worst case, I think that Overdraw might fly back and like get a, res a, like a crit on me. But I'm gonna try to play this right, so that's less likely to happen. I don't think I wanna go to here. Because then they have loss on me, which is probably worse. You also have uh, CE, which is good. Hmm. CE with elevation might not work here because it's a sphere. So maybe, maybe actually run all the way up to here. You should be far enough away from... Yeah, you're far enough away from the spawns. Okay, yeah. And Motion Dracker says we're fairly clear. Okay, so fuck it. Do it. Make sure you kill this thing then with CE. Leave it. Yeah, wrap it as well. It does put the other drone in sight, but it is what it is. Get seed. Maybe we can actually kill it with someone else and get no, because you want to get out. Of, you want to get out of the way. You want to get out of cover. Okay. Yeah. So just finish him off. Promo code warp seed. <laughs> Boom. 
Panika says, I must succeed. I see that my sleeper cell agent messages subliminally have finally got through. What would be really nice is getting that fucking sieve. But pushing up to here is too far. I can't see them from here either. I could step to this position and engage the drone because it's better if the drone shoots me than the sieve. But I also want to go, um, run over to the left and find out what's going on on my left flank early. Before it's too late. I could also do it here, but no, I can't actually. Oh, there's like a- Oh, there's firing ports already on this version of the map. Oh, look at that. I would need to blow this up to be perfect, but yes, I can put someone here. I should put someone there. Even more reason to clear the left side. I'm gonna run you over. Time to motor. Don't see anything yet. Yeah, I'm just gonna step you up and engage that drone. It won't kill him, but it might draw fire to me the instead of the sieve. Door open? Where? Uh, yeah, it might have been that sieve though, I think. Imagine if a pod squeezes over in that alleyway. Well, the magic of motion trackers, we don't have to imagine that. We know there's no one here. Oh, so close! And yet so... so dang far. Good. They didn't do anything too dangerous. Alright, we're gonna get that sieve and then fall back. Down here. One sieve is... Okay. Next toy's on the left, that's worrying. That is worrying, because now if I go into the middle of the map, I'm very likely to pull that mechtoid. Maybe with what I learned about that middle of the wall position, maybe I should be staying up there instead. The fuckers could be close here. They're probably not too close, though. It's probably okay. Who's got the high mobility? 11. 11. Wow, you guys are slow. Who would have thought? Okie dokie, so probably you, fi uh, Fixer. Probably you're gonna handle this. Remember that we were as engineers? I had no choice! Oh shit, there's shitters right there too. There's shitters right in here. So yeah, probably best to just run back to here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Probably better to just pull back to here. You've got positions here as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That might activate the mechtoid if you go here. But at the very least, you should be able to go fit in one. Oh, that's hot. Full cover two. Perfect. One, two people here. One, two. Eh, this is very split. But maybe three. And then... Mm, I don't know about the rest. Does that back wall spot also activate what's in here, though? Maybe, but also note that the other aliens haven't even moved up yet. So maybe we have time. Because those fuckers are, like, right here. So that's going to be... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, that's probably going to activate him if I move there. What would I put here? Rockets, maybe? Maybe rockets. Most important thing in what's to come, I think. I can find out if this is active uh, by just running back here early, actually. Or running back across this way right now and seeing what we're dealing with. Good copy. Moving on target. What is it? That's another mechtoid. Okay, so there's two... <laughs> Two mechtoids! And the absolute boatload of meat that's incoming. Is everyone dead yet? No, but it'll, it's coming. At least we'll be close to spawn, I guess. 
two mectoids. Are we sure? Do, does it have to be this way? Are we are we certain that has to be that has to be true? Have we considered having less mectoids? My junior team says I better not be on this mission. You're not yet. You are not on this mission. No, don't worry. On my way. Fifty-three. I need to get this thing deaded before it gets away. I feel. I'm on it, Commander. Oh fuck! They're right behind. You can't stay here for long. You might as well leave that drone alive. I think. It's too dangerous to be here if the other shit's coming. Just get out of there. Yeah, and you don't want to take this with Berserkers, so it'll be one... Engineers. Engineers behind the wall, okay? Engineers behind the wall. Rocketeer, Rocketeer. Or maybe even Rocketeer LMG. Or you could go... Rocketeer, Rocketeer... LMG? Rocketeers, step out here, could fire on that, but not on you. So you need both Rocketeers there, okay. So you have to start coming over. Chris Tucker, get a move on. I am needing you to get a move on over here. Boop. Moving out. You can't quite make it. But you can reload. Instead of reloading, what I'll do here is just see if this position Money. provides reasonable line of sight. Uh, line of fire, I mean. Similar but different. Maybe the Gatling goes here for now. The inevitable bullshit coming up that side. On the move. And then I can't use it against the mech toys, unfortunately. Cordons, I think, can go in this spot. Mm, you actually want to make sure they're very much not where Berserkers are going to hit you. So really over here for Cordons, actually, in a second. We need to get you the fuck back. We, uh, as, paradoxical as, uh, as paradoxical as it is, I think we also need you to not stand on exploding cover. That'll be worse. Though, mutons might run up and get you too. Mm. Like, just regular-ass mutons. Frightening, because they are within five tiles there. One, two, three, four, five... Well, that'd be 17, 18, 19, 20... Okay, five... Let's say four, five, six, seven, eight... You kind of need cover. This is rough, though. Get the fuck out of there. Leave it. Cover's overrated? I'm not sure that it is, honestly. I think that cover might be useful, actually. Moving out. Get the fuck out of there. I'm on the move. Reload. Reload. I don't like this at all. I need to be ready to evac at a moment's notice. Ferret says, if cover is so good, why shouldn't Judge a book by it? Shut the hell up. <laughs> oh good, go away, that's good. Boom. <gasps> it's Close. not carrying a weapon like the others. What could it be doing? Wait, why do they have so much meat? Aren't they only meant to have like 25 health at this point? That looked like more than 25. That looked way too healthy. They're right there. They're clustered at least. So maybe we can rocket them still. Maybe it's not maybe it's not all over yet. Maybe there's a chance we can rocket them. Turtle Geek. Crumb here. I'm gonna overwatch a view and then turn it into a sh un unsteadied shredder, I think. Okay. Get the double sentinel overwatch. 
Chris Tucker can probably get away with an Overwatch 2. Oh, they brought Overwatch 2 out already? Yeah, it sucks. Jeff Ronks needs to get the fuck back. You need to Overwatch. Probably a Sentinel shock on Overwatch from you. But get back so you don't accidentally activate a Mectoid. Meat in bio. <laughs> She's gonna like run you back to here, I think. Oh, but you've got the CE and stuff, you, but you're not gonna be in place for it, it doesn't matter. You, you really can't be at this point, because I can't risk the bull rushes. Bull rush, is, bull rush left a very big like trauma on me. Like, I'm very frightened of bull rushes, a lot of you know. It really scares me. I do not like it. Really Location fucking scares me. Confirmed. Get Jeff Runks out of there. Moving out. Door isn't real and can't hurt you. It actually is real and it definitely can hurt you, and that's why it's so frightening. Hopefully, the best I can hope for is like the the ladies outpace the muton uh, mutons of guns. That's really my only prayer. Okay, so it's the Sentinel Overwatch from you, and I think it's also one from you. Revito says, a Berserker once killed one of my down units with Bull Rush. Yeah, Bull Rush is really fucked up. And I feel like we're gonna see a lot more of it this campaign. Pre-activated Berserkers Bull Rushing from out of the fog. I feel like... After this mission, I'm gonna be going like, maybe maybe Berserkers need to go up in price. Maybe Berserkers are too cheap. This is why I moved that assault back. For that exact reason. Hello, hello! Oh, she's high! Good starting shot! 10, 25, that's 26, I think. Just a little bitty more health than anyone wanted to see on that lady. Okay, interesting move. What the fuck? They're splitting up and what are they, what the fuck are they doing? Oh shit. Oh, if I rocket them, I'm gonna activate the sec, the mech toy. That's really annoying positioning. I wanna rocket them, but if I do it, I very likely activate the set, but they're next to the cap, the, the truck cap, I have to do it. I have to fucking do it. I wish I'd steadied now for accuracy. Now I wish I'd steadied for accuracy, yeah? If I don't take the shots now, also, they just bull rush me. So I need to kill them. Okay, I do need to kill them. Like, worst case. I think I can free smoke for a start. Probably smoke these two, so if the Mechto does activate, I'm okay. Just leave the cover. They can only bull rush if you're using cover, right? Yeah, but then I give up my positions to fight everything else. I think I'm gonna smoke, which I, I don't think, well, I think we've t tested this and smoke doesn't lower your accuracy. Didn't you say, remind me of everything I said you rockets? You know, I didn't think that the mechtoid pod would walk over and then the berserkers would stay near the mechtoid pod to make it if I tried to rocket them. Like I didn't, I thought they'd just run at me. I didn't think they'd like stop here and then sit near them, like bait me. I didn't think they'd be this clever. Is the problem. Should you try thinking? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think you've got me there. That's a good fun moment. Well, we're about to find out about that because I'm going to smoke myself. So, three, five, seven, 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 five, three. New do a donation from Someone. Three, five, seven. Odd single M E L F S in your area. Approaching quickly. <laughs> five. Seven. I don't like putting smoke there. Five, seven, seven. Five, seven, 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 five, three. 
five seven seven. Five seven seven. Okay. So I don't want to provide them any smoke if they rush me. To do a free smoke. Now let's see if that fucks up the shred. Oh, it totally fucks up the shred. Shit. That makes me want to rock it even less. That completely fucks up the shred. I'm gonna do it anyway. I believe in Chris Tucker to not activate the mectoid. I believe in Chris Tucker here. Chris Tucker will not activate that mectoid. Chris Tucker, you would have to scatter in that one... In that one direction. The rocket could scatter anywhere. I believe. Chris Tucker is going to nail this rocket shot perfectly. That's what's going to happen. Think harder, Beagle. Think harder. Think harder about this. You don't really have any follow-up. I guess you have grenades. Maybe we maybe we do break loss for this turn. Maybe everyone steps back off cover and breaks loss for just this turn. So it does give the other fuckers more time to show up. Uh, I, mean, I, don't, I have the grenades. The grenades is all the follow-up I need, right? The grenades is what I need. Oh shit, bitch. Don't ever think. This is the right move, I'm sure of it. I'm sure this is the right move. We're all gonna fucking die. We're all gonna fucking die. All gonna fucking die. Always stay the rocket. Never don't stay the rocket. Chris Tucker will not hit that sectoid. This. It's so unlikely for the rocket scatter to hit that. Yeah, perfect sectoid. Unfortunately, the truck ain't gonna blow up though, which I kind of wanted. Oh, they're also not going to move as far as I thought. She's just going to jump off the truck kind of lazily, and now they're split up. I hate this. This fucking sucks. God damn it. Also, I think maybe if I step out, does that activate the sectoid? Oh, shit. I mean, fucking maybe. Like, if I step out to Overwatch, is that going to activate you shits? You have to go the front one out. Yeah, I always did. Oh, this fucking sucks extra. Maybe, no, no, it, it, maybe it's not within range. Maybe it's not within range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. It's, pr it's not in range to the center of the tile. It, it maybe is okay. I got fucking bull rush coming in at me now. I gotta shoot that fucking back one. Because if I don't, everybody's fucking dead. I mean, we're all fucking dead anyway, ain't we? We're all fucked. We're all fucked. Everybody's fucked. I have no way to get, like, that back one to, to fucking move in. God damn it. How do I get the back one to come? I just was not expecting this one to just not move up as far. That completely ruins me. Honestly, it completely fucks me. If I move to here to shoot it... I mean, if that does activate the mechdoid, then you're in fucking trouble with Jeff Ronks. Jeff Ronks is just gonna go down. I mean, maybe that's just the way it's gotta be. How about evac? We can't evac this turn anyway because of Chris, Tuck Chris Tucker. We don't want around the side of the We don't want them around the side. We want them with this other one. That's affirmative. We want them together, specifically. Incredibly good shot. Just in every way, that was an amazing shot. Like, what an outstanding shot. Okay, shred for you two. And Overwatch.
watching. I'm gonna need the shred. Big's got a shred, but it's a shred, so it should hit. Wow. Oh, bless. I think I got them both. Ten oh, God, that was close. That was a, a good try to fuck it up, but, it, but you got him. Big fucking whiff, though. Because they weren't close enough yet. Didn't activate the sector, though, so that's friendly. Now it's all about the grenades, really. It better be all about the grenades, because they're about to fucking get in here. Someone needs to block that gap. Cordance needs to block the gap. So that they don't get into the smoke. Maybe if they're lucky. Maybe if we're lucky, I even pull them over towards the Gatling laser. 20 HP to kill. Yeah, this isn't looking good, honestly. This isn't looking good. These gotta be good AP grenades. Block the gap so they can't get in. On the move. Come here. APs for breakfast. Can you push the wall? Yes, they certainly fucking can. You specifically said it was probably fine. I said probably! They are shredded. They're, we're not gonna kill them. Unless... No, but that's not enough. It kills one, but we're not gonna kill the other one. Hey, I probably needed to hold my overwatch until they were both closer. I, I should have held them both. I just don't have the damage now. Unless you go like crazy mode here and get like a point blank Gatling, but the, even if, mm, even if a point blank Gatling, a point blank Gatling could do a good amount of damage, but will it do enough? More than an AP? I mean, you're just gonna die otherwise. It can't do 16. Yeah, but <sighs> fucking cordance. Because I already moved cordance here. Shit. To block. You shouldn't do the wall. No, listen. I can do this, but yeah, it's not a good idea because it fucking fucks us all up. We can't do it. I think I'm just gonna get punched by a berserker. I just gotta hear what the heck is going on. Bad things are going on. I can't stop that berserker punch, unfortunately. That's gonna connect. Terrible. Someone's going down. I know there's like potentially like a turn solution here where like I take HE damage to do this, but it's just not a good idea. It's better to just let someone go down rather than like fuck around with that and just end up fucked for it. Can you pull them in terms of the AP? I mean, maybe I can pull them back here, but no, because they won't. Because they, because I fucked this. Because I, I wanted to pull for the Gatling, but they're not going to go for the Gatling. They went here. I can draw them like six tiles this way, but then they'll still just come back and get the assault, so that doesn't really work. Smooth. All right, AP it up, because it's the best we caught here, unfortunately. Yeah, fucker. They're not smart. See, like, they, they, they... What I'm learning here is Berserkers don't know how to pathfind when you bull rush them, they just go straight towards it. Though they did go this way, but I guess I threw the grenade from there a bit? I don't know. Okay, so yeah, um, cliche is fucked. Does bull rush do full damage? Because if so, I need to spread out the gunner from the assault. Alien life forms. Does bull rush do full damage or is it like lower damage? I think the thing about bull rush is it's full damage. It's not full, but it's a lot. I need to get off the wall. Because that's gonna just be a bull rush on both of us. Cordon needs to back off. I'm on 
the move. Pillage does two times damage. Sorry, that was a misclick. I'm gonna fix that. Sorry. The real scary thing is that the Berserker just decides to kill the Rocketeers. They have no respirators. They're just fucked. Chris Tucker, this could be your last turn on Earth. Actually. We're about to find out. Do I shoot that? Reloaded. Sectoid incoming. The only real good news is there's only one other Berserker after this one. Depending on how this turn goes, though, I could be trying to extract after this turn. Overbuying on the menu basically guarantees you, like, one soldier down, even if I end up extracting, because I'll always try to, like, try the mission out of respect. Usually. I'll usually always try. Maybe the Berserker's AI will just fuck up and it won't hit anyone. Sometimes they do that. Sometimes they, sometimes they just get stupid. It could happen. There's the Berserker. Cope harder. I will cope harder, thank you. A little help over here, please! Oh no. Uh Yeah! Wait! Okay, it's not full damage, it's only six. Okay, no one is dead, so that's a plus. I still have cover here too, I have half cover. However, Berserker and Smoke, not my favorite. There is suppression here, you just can't see it for some fucking reason. Okay, what to do? I kind of want to sit still so I can keep rocketing, but that floater is an ish. I need to shred them. I can't shred them, I can rocket them. He's a big fan, blow the smoke away, easy clap. Oh, incredible, incredible idea. Uh, I think what I want to do is rocket the floater and everyone to get rid of all that shit. Which, uh, Shredder would make the most sense of, but I want to use Command as well. Also, apparently the Berserker is, like, blocking my ability to Shred. I didn't know this, but... apparently units can block rockets? Maybe? Maybe that's what's happening. I really want to Shred there, man. Kill Berserker first? Well, it's hard to kill a Berserker first because of smoke. I guess it's not that hard, actually. Who's got another shotgun back here? You do. You've got CE as well, which is uh, t tits hot. That's good. Very tits hot. We can go to here. Yeah, she's shredded too, yeah. And we've got the smoke bonus. So if I get close, I'll get her ass. Get her ass with CE. Then has that actually... No, okay, it's just the terrain is dicky there, unfortunately. Which is really unfortunate because I really want to shred there. I really need to shred. I can grenade, though. That's nice. Oh, nice grenade. No shred, but nice grenade. Okay, you probably AP there. We can overwatch at this point. That would be plus 30, but then minus again. So probably wait until she's closer. Everything good coming. Yeah, but that's all we need is to stop the suppression. Why can't you shred? Uh, just you, you can see for yourself. I just can't get the angle. Really, it's just not a good shred. I, I need. I would need to shoot to the right to get it. And for whatever reason, maybe the wall hasn't updated properly from being bull rushed. But whatever reason, I can't. Probably the wall still thinks it's. Maybe if I TTC out and in, I think the wall still thinks it's full cover. Yeah, yeah, it just hasn't updated, it looks like. I'm just gonna save and load and see if that fixes it too. Because sometimes that fixes like map issues like this. Because we could really use that shred. That is an incredibly good shred. Massive value. And if we kill that Berserker, that's the last Berserker off the field, which will be terrific. The mech toys aren't activating yet. Yeah, there we go. Save and reload, fix it. That's really, really tight and good. So I would do Overwatch on the Assault immediately. Okay. 
Overwatch. You can do that in this XCOM, not in the other one, but you can do it in this one. Cover gone? What? No, no. Cover there. Wait. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, well that's like good and bad then, because... Plus side got the shot, minus side the cover's just fucking gone now. Ah shit, I already did the overwatch too. This is why... It's not good to have command on your Rocketeers, because this would be solvable otherwise. Even about Shred, as long as we get rid of the Suppression and trigger her, it's going to be like six... This much. It's not enough. Yeah, I, I know, Dr. Reef. I think I did. Part of me wants to just Shred anyway and just trust the smoke to cover Chris Tucker. Other parts of me are like, that's not a good idea. Because these two mutons are going to move up and shoot me. But I could also put someone else with a respirator in front to, like, tank it. Like, uh... Like Jeff Ronks. Who has 17. You have 22 defense. So Jeff Ronks, you come and tank it instead. As long as I get a heal on you, which I can't do because you're not next to cover. Fuck! My butt. Fuck. You see, wouldn't help the rock deer with the cover now, would it? No, the, you can see the cover is just gone. Like, the map... The game doesn't think there's cover there anymore. I'll, I'll try it, but it just looks completely fucked now. Yeah. The game does not think there's cover there anymore, as you can see. We don't have a snapshot, do we? No, we do not. Can I kill that Berserker without the Shred? 10, 21 health. I mean, absolutely I could. Two shotgun shots plus grenades, I could kill it without needing to sacrifice anyone. Rocket then command them back. Yes, very good, but... They are the commander. I'm probably gonna do like a regular rocket just to get rid of the... the... No wait, I have a grenade, right? I have a grenade? I have a grenade, yeah. But then I have one less grenade for the Berserker. But it is hitting the Berserker as well, I just remembered. So you would do that. And then you could maybe smoke and, like, overwatch the mutons coming in, perhaps? you probably get the drones, actually, but... Maybe, maybe what you should do, then, is overwatch the Zerker. Overwatch the Zerker first. Probably even get, like, a... Try, try to, like, cut the angle here. I've got a plan, okay? I want to get hollow on the Berserker. Is that in smoke? Three, five, seven, 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 five, three. Yeah. I'm gonna do huge gamer moves here, okay? I'm gonna come back to here. Okay. Okay. Huge gamer moves incoming. I'm gonna suppress to get the hollow targeting onto them first without drawing them towards me. Because then I can still grenade to get the full damage on them while still getting full. And then anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's it's for hollow. It's for hollow for the others. Because I'm gonna do this. Use more ammo, but I think it's worth it here because then I'm gonna do Overwatch. Anyone else got cool Overwatch? And that's it. Now Chromulon does the AP, and it all begins. Really good damage. Really good AP. Now the Overwatch beginneth. The, the the suppression does miss, but it applies the hollow and the other's hit. Cliche gets to go twice now because it's one on on the full uh, not the worship. It's one on the activation of it. Oh I, but I forgot the smoke! Before I overwatched, I should have fucking smoked. And I could have done it for free. I could have smoked the fucking assault and I didn't. I'm stupid as hell. My brain is small. That was almost a perfect turn, except I needed to smoke the assault, and that would have been perfect. I actually mad at myself for that, damn it. That assault's in grave danger. I'm quite upset with myself for that. That was stupid. 
All I had to do was, uh, you can command now. Yeah, it's kind of a waste of command, though. It's a big waste of command there. But it might be worth doing purely just because otherwise the assault is in danger, as I said. It is a waste, but sometimes you have to waste to make up for your dumb fuck-up, and I think this is one of those times, you know what I mean? We can take cover again, which is a good thing now that all the Berserkers are dead. That's one, two, three Berserkers dead. Not a waste if someone dies, that's right. Assault one point of command, exactly. The turn could have been optimal. But it isn't optimal, and now we just have to play off what's here. And as it is... I don't want to use all the Yeah, but it's the cooldown is the thing. It's the cooldown you got to worry about. I don't want to go to the left because if that activates more Mactoid, I'm, I'm cooked. I, want to run, I kind of want to like run Chris over here, but then Chris is in trouble as well. I think maybe like just this turn, I, I like just have to run Chris to a position where... Well, hang on. No, no, because you can go... You can render here, at least, of the rockets here. Anyway, yeah, the point is... No, wait, I can't do it because you're on Overwatch. I actually can't use it on someone on Overwatch, right? Yeah. So I actually can't do it, never mind. Shid. Big shid. That's a big shid. That assault is in danger, danger. Okay, but, as we said, the the bull rush being gone now means we can use cover again, which is exceptional. Interesting that the Gatlings are seized. I don't want to go there because that's going to get me grenaded, but here would probably be okay. You are still open to being fucked, though, just like the Assault be. But that's the point. The Assault's going to tank this turn. So this is a good turn for you to get into position, actually, Silent Bolt. What do you mean to just nade the smoke group? If they can push up that far. Another good reason to spread out, though. Running. Going over here. This gives them less cover to move up to as well, which is nice. Yeah, I need to actually spread cordons. I think I need to bite the bullet and go left. What if it activates a Mectoid, though? That's so much trouble. But I need to get out of the group, because you're right, it might get grenaded real hard. I could just put Chris Tucker to here, and then the grenade doesn't get us all. Or here, but then Cordon's can't heal you. Where's Fajitas going? There, ideally, and you two go left. The chance of activating here from here is slim, but not zero. If I go to here, I can also steady. Which is its own kind of good. I feel like I'm going to make that move. Do it. Heading out. What's the worst that could happen? Nice. Okay, now we need to heal you up. Oh, you don't have savior. Shit. It would have been smarter to send you to someone of savior, like, um... Yeah, too late for that anyway. Too late to cry. It's too late to cry! Crying time is over now. You gotta work with what you've got, and what you've got here is shitty heals. Super says, man, it's never too late to cry. Yeah, also a good point, you're right. Heading to that location. Reload. Reloaded. Steady. At least you're ready if that mechtoid comes in now. Get that sectoid! God damn it! Damn it. Out of ammo here. Chris says, hey, I revived three people last mission. Call me shitty heals. Oh, you've got great revives, just shitty heals. It's my own fault. I'm the one. Who didn't get Thin Man uh, autopsy medic med kits yet? Oh, lots of hollow target. You are so fucked. I think the assault might go down this turn. If I'm really lucky, the, the mutons just double move me, but I think even the rest of the aliens might just take me out. Like the floater and whatever other sectoid there is. I'm 
really blessed, though, that the mechdoids keep going away. That's very generous of the game. Uh... Oh, wow, they didn't see us. That's crazy generous. That looked like they passed through my uh, vision. That was very lucky. Ouch! Let's just say Chris Stoker's in a good position for when that kicks off. Oh, no, we don't need this mind frame, please. Yeah! Lucky. Stay lucky. Stay fucking lucky. What are you gonna do, though? You're scary. Oh, God. Oh, that's you done. Isn't it? That is you fucking done. Shit. Yeah, and it wouldn't quite be you done, except... Ah, fuck. Alright. Fortunately, trees are not very sturdy cover, we can see. Tank of damage, yeah, it would have tanked more except for the tree blowing up, but it happens. Now, what is good here is a look at that cluster. We're going to get some rockets off. Oh, yes, we are. Just double rockets all day here, I think, and then grenade the close enemies, which are less, less dangerous anyway. Yeah, six turn bleed out. Hopefully, unless we're, like, having to extract here, we've got this covered. I do have grenades for the close ones, including a heat grenade to hit the drone. It's a bit of a shitty spread, but I can probably HE that sectoid to soften them up and hit them as well. Though that also removes my ability to hit elevation, so maybe not. Do you have a wall? I've never tried it, but probably not. Depends how well they coded their game, doesn't it? You know, I could just run fajitas down the side instead and just chuck AP, which is probably what I will we'll, we'll end up doing. I think the big thing here is just, can we kill these three aliens? Uh, optimistically, maybe we can kill the fourth mutant too, but that seems unlikely. If we can just kill these three aliens and then that floater, I think it's like a doable turn, you know? But that's the key here. We need to kill those three aliens. I might bring you over here and come on to reload. Can you not see from there? Fuck. We're just ruining everything, aren't you? Fourth purchase this mission? Meat. A lot of berserkers. Some brown pants, yeah. Do I want to smoke anywhere? Maybe on the left? They can't actually see you from there, which is kind of sick. But still, maybe on the left. No, you want to you rock it, though. You need to rock it. Really weird that you can't see from there, like, at all. Seven activation for rockets here shouldn't be. Maybe that's why you didn't get spotted, actually. Wait, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Maybe shooting the rocket from here activates that sectoid? But the fact that it's just like you can't see anything from here makes me think it's like a bugged tile and there's just no loss through it, which is... Because you, you should be seen through there now, right? Especially if you're like allowed to shoot through it. I'm going to take the rocket, I reckon. But it is a bit concerning to see. Yeah, the wall is just a bit fucked. Yeah, it is. That's 0 0.3 there. This one is 0 0.4. Probably do yours first. But you're probably going to do both over here. I want to put it right there. Away. Not a great one. To be honest. But it could have been worse. It was on target. It was on target, and that's that's pretty good. Do I want to get splash damage on that mutant on the left or prior I think I want to prioritize damage on this sector on the right. Honestly. Though. Don't forget the grenades might change how we look at this. How many have I killed? It was a Super Bowl. We're only looking at like four out of six mutons, so I can't run the grenadier down this right side yet because there could be two more mutons out there. 
there, there is Duma Mutons down there, right? So actually, I can't do that. So we're not going to get that grenade off, which means we need to just maximize damage here, I think. Because otherwise, you're just going to do like two damage to each of them. This might actually kill the Sectoid. So this is the one to prioritize, I think. Please don't activate the mech With pleasure. Looks good. Yeah, that, that's the one I wanted. Actually, perfect damage on the four health muton. So that takes out a Sectoid, which is going to keep Mind Frame us, which would have been annoying. Speaking of annoying, fuck you, I gotta kill this floater now. we still got a lot of mutons coming in, but... This is looking much better, I think, than it was a second ago. But can you kill this shit? Remember, if you blow up the cover, the AP won't be able to reach the drone or the floater. That said, does that mean they're already too high to really, like, reliably get? I don't know. Yeah, bodies and we need kills. That's right, yeah. We need we need kills. 100%. We need kills. If I go to here with fajitas, you're in smoke. The muton... That muton could technically, I guess, get an angle on you this way. Though, if you go there, but what if your cover blows up? What if the floater flies over at you? Well, the floater can't, like, single kill you, so it's probably fine to stay here. I mean, it's probably not fine, but it's smarter to stay here than anything else, I think. means that sectoid survives, but that is what it is. I think it's more important to get some damage on these fuckers. But maybe no, I probably won't kill. No, but then I follow up with the HE, right? Then I follow up with the HE. And the HE maybe does finish off the floater, I think. Probably won't get the drone, but should finish off the floater. The sectoid will probably survive, unfortunately. I beat one mind for the plasma rifle. I do agree, yeah, I do agree. Just trying to get the uh, AP now. No, it needs to be closer to the floater, please. Please, game. Please and thank you. Yeah, that's that's a good one there, I think. Throw that. Catch. Really good! That was a elite level AP grenade there. Well done. Now, maybe you don't even want to HE here, because it probably won't kill the Sectoid. Maybe you just want to reload your gun so you can shotgun the drone and also get away so we don't all get grenaded at one go here. Maybe that's the real move. But then you get grenaded on the right, which is its own problem. Fire damage roll on the drone was crazy too. Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty good. It was pretty elite. Ooh, there are not a lot of good positions to move here. Maybe even just stay in the open, in the smoke. I can suppress you at the back, but the drone's probably gonna come get me, which is annoying. Was it a heat nade? No, yeah, it was a heat nade. Can you break loss? Oh, hell no. Hell no, I absolutely can't. We cannot draw a grenade over there, whatever we do, because it'll kill them as well. So I don't want to go any further back to the right. I want to probably just, like, sit right here and reload. And probably for that reason, stay in the smoke and reload here. That's probably my best maneuver. Wait, you're not in smoke, what the fuck? Wait. Oh shit, bug, we have no smoke anymore. Oh shit. Great frightening. Greatly frightening. Okay, probably go over to here and reload then. But then you're just gonna get us all grenaded. But if you get grenaded, it's like picking who gets grenaded. And none of it is good. Fuck, none of it is good, yeah. That might activate it. If you draw a grenade over here, that might draw a mechtoid from the left. So probably better to run to the right. 
Even though I really don't want to be grenaded on this side either. Probably still smarter, especially because it's not on your medic either. Move into position. Oh, this is gonna hurt though. I reckon I'm gonna get grenaded real fucking hard. I can try to lock you down at the minimum, but I think the drone will interrupt it. I can reload. Sim all. And I can heal you up. That's one of my best moves. Okay, the mechanics are both there, you're right. So right in the left would have been okay. We're not out of the woods yet, this is still very dangerous. Is that the leader sector there? No, it doesn't get low profile, it can't be. It's just been uh, mind merged by the leader, I think. And the drone's gonna be a hugely annoying little shit and interrupt my suppression, I think. Oh no! Just fucking up Jeff Ronks instead. This one for the gunner. No flank, no flank. Problem is, if those mechdoids come in, we haven't got like any rockets left for them. We have to pray that they keep staying away. It's really the only way we can handle this this mission. Yeah, keep leave the oh, fuck. No fuck. How is that not? Oh, because that's squad side for the gunner. Nice. This is probably gonna work. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. That activates too. Okay, you're panicked in the open and we have no smoke. So, you're dead. The person with smoke has been panicked in the open with no cover. So total key's gone, gone die. That much is about certain. I genuinely hate that. So do I. But what are you going to do about it? Seriously, what are you going to do about it? Sectors keep winning. Yeah, sectors are so scary. Okay, I got a CE for you. Does have a thing that uh, removes panic? No, that's a side thing, I'm, I'm afraid. Grenade you two and get that sectoid. I can suppress the back one again. Assault is going down. We'll pray for a revive opportunity here, but it's unlikely. At this juncture. I can suppress two mutons, but I'm not killing anyone is the problem. I'm not killing anyone right now. I'm probably going to have to extract. That's the most likely thing here. Is I'm going to have to do an extract. Because if that mechtoid walks up and starts blasting, unless this rocketeer is... Like, I just don't really have what... I don't really have what I need here, you know? Like, I just, I just don't have the tools. We've expended pretty much everything we would need to take the fuckers down. That's not this turn yet, though, for obvious reasons. Ah, shit, you're gonna move over. I got thoughts. Probably come back to here and, like, grenade the sectoid and try to kill it. Because it's doing problems. And then you can take their spot. Okay, so... You're gonna back off to here. Who suppressed the one in the open? It doesn't really matter. They're they're fucked anyway. Ignore that suppression. Trying to get an HE here. That hits the drone, but I can't apparently. There we go. Blow that. 
Balance la grenade. Oh, very good, la grenade. Very good. Very, very good. Wait, is this a turret mission? Oh, wow. It sure is. Shred is wasted here. If I have any hope against the mech toy, it'll have to be shredded too. So I can't really afford to do that yet. I could come to here and rapid fire the uh, sectors in the open. Cordons could run over to this position while you come up and suppress. So suppress Muton. Suppress Muton. Suppress these two probably. I think the mech is staying just under the cab of the big truck so you can shred it. I don't. Oh yeah, it is right, right there, isn't it? It is like right there, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Though then, I don't really want to kill the sector, it is a problem. It's got 9 health, it probably won't die without being rapid fired. But that's true, it, we would get a, um, a shred on the, on the mechtoid 2 probably. Because yeah, you're right, it's like right next to the fucker. Yeah, everyone's far enough away, you want to hit him. Gonna follow up. No, I don't. I don't have any follow up. That's true. Which is why I'm getting ready to evac. But miracles may happen. There is a chance. There is a chance. Hmm. This is almost all the mutons, but I think there's still one out there. I really, really want to run fajitas down this wall. And like, AP over the top of these two. However, I don't know if I can get it. Can we come on do anything? I'm saving command for the potential extraction. And that may also bring a muton down long, I'm not sure. However, it's probably the only way I win this. If I could move to here, I don't know if I can even throw over the wall, honestly. Probably can't, actually. I have to go like here. But if I go to here and I grenade over the top, if they if the shred lands on them, I could probably kill one, maybe kill two. So what I want to do here, okay, is I want to go shredder first. And the shredder needs to hit that mechtoid there. So shredder first, right here. It should hit that mechtoid at the very minimum. Come on, not yet, not yet. I'm saving it for a reason. So what about the other mech? That's a later problem. That does it. Lose something up? You got the mechtoid. What, what exploded? Oh, there was a drone back there. Cool, it's dead. Expression ends. Not that it matters here, but it does end. Fajitas runs it down long. Gets a grenade over the wall. Yeah. Oh, the one HP drone from the start? You're so right. Yeah, that's what it is. If the drone sees the NG and nade spot, will it mean to take an open field shot? Maybe, yeah. Possibly. But we gotta do something about him, because we, we're we gonna die to him one way or another. Somebody's gotta do something, you know? Someone has to do something about all this shit. This is my plan to do something about it. Maybe don't go... How many tiles do you reckon you need here? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I would just go all the way. Moving. Hopefully you can get it over the wall. Yeah, good. I think they were both shredded, right? Uh, either way, Jeffrey's gonna come in here. Jeffrey's might get fucking droned, which would suck, but uh, Jeffrey's gonna do their best to come here and then get some Move suppression or some bullshit on someone else. We're still gonna kill this fucker, too. That's right, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Jeffrey may try and probably fail, but may try. Oh, with cordons, maybe. Uh, we might be able to kill this sectoid, hopefully. You can't get both, unfortunately. You have to pick. I wanna confirm. Shredded. Shredded. Okay. 
You will not get this one on the right. But if we don't fuck up this grenade, it's likely we get the one on the other side. Like, like right there, I reckon. That ought to do something. Really prioritize that other one on the side. That's the one we want to kill the most. Hop! Frag out. Yeah, that's good. Four on the other one is nice. If the engineer survives till next turn, we get to kill the other one, which is good. This is what we need. We need bodies down. We need bodies down, you know? The big problem, though, is that drone is just going to fly over and get Jeffronks. Which is why it's probably better not to suppress with Jeffronks, but shoot the sectoid. Because suppression won't do anything, because the drone will just end it, I think. So, get rid of that sectoid while we have the opportunity, I'd say. Nice, now the follow-up of Cordons, and this could be what we need. Oof, this doesn't work for my plan, though. I have a plan for extraction, but at this point, I want to commit to plan maybe we survive somehow. But how, Beagle? How would you survive? Well, you'd suppress the Mectoid next turn when it comes. If you have a gunner alive for it. Do you have ammo? I'm not sure I can survive. It might just be a dumb idea. I don't think there was six mutons. I feel like the last three bought were lower tier. No, but it was, it, it was six mutons total. It was. I've got it written down. It was six mutants total. The method is shredded. I mean, you got you, you want to kill this fucker ever. I just want to have cordons here so that my plan for cordons was to basically, if next turn I decide to extract, I would just go he the wall open, cordons moves, revives, gets commanded, runs to cover, and everyone gets out. That was my plan for next turn. However, I think I've got to kill what I can see. I gotta go for what I can do here. And what I can do here is kill that sectoid. Okay, so we're gonna go to here. We're gonna shoot that sectoid. Hey, you fucker. Oh, that fucking sucks. I really needed that little shitbag to die. Man, I really needed that little shitbag to die, man. I needed it. Okay, I gotta suppress this one, because otherwise... Otherwise, I'm gonna get fucked anyway. That sucks, man. Keeping him down. Really needed that sector to be dead to kind of try to stabilize a little bit. Drone. Ow. Remarkably generous, honestly. For what it could have been. Here, stay the fuck away from me. I don't know how many sectors activated with that mechtoid pod. At least one. If I'm lucky, the mechtoid runs up and kills total because the mutant will do it anyway, but it like wastes the mechtoid shot, unfortunately. Okay, not yet. You fucker. They're just dashing to safety. They're a little coward. They're a little coward. Look at them. A little coward. Oh, you're gonna get total. Live somehow! Uh, okay, interesting. Unfortunately, that means the mechtoid... What? Is that an activation? What the hell was that? Wait, wait, what the fuck was that? It looked like a sectoid and the drone just activated, but what else did they have? What else did they have? The sectoid and drone... No, there's no such thing as a sectoid and the drone pod on a terror mission. There's the mechtoid pod? No, that's... Were they with the mechtoid? Did they just- but they moved at the same time, that was confusing. Why would that happen? I don't trust that. Okay, well nevertheless... This little shitbag. Can I get away from you shitbag? Yeah, I can. Hey, Bison Bison, what's up? Thanks for the rate of five. We're, uh, we're in hell here. Okay, I can move to here and I can grenade you too. The shredded one should die, the other one won't. Okay. So I need to do a command revive here. I need to go cordance revive, command cordance, get the fuck out of there. That's probably like the first thing I do so that I don't take up the spots needed to get the cover on. I just start thinking about reviving this assault soon too. I'm going to stick this out. The mecha didn't move up, so that's good. That's really good. Potentially, I could get down to one active, like, inside muton here, which would be exceptional. 
Like, I could suppress the other one, you know what I'm saying? With the, with, with, uh, motherfucking Jeffrunks here, could suppress the other one, which would be amazing. This wall might blow up because of fire, which I don't like. So I think the first order of operations, okay, let's plan the whole turn out. After I pee, man, I gotta pee, sorry. It's a hard mission, I gotta piss myself, I'll be right back. Back and I brought a lunchbox of food in it. I didn't think this mission would take so long. It's really turned into a fucking issue. So, let's look at the order of operations. Cordance. Steps to... What the fuck? It's quite wide for reviving, isn't it? Cordance steps to here. Or maybe even here, and then you don't need to be commanded. You have tax sense, you can survive it. How much is tax sense? Five for enemy in sight. Maybe not, because we're going to kill one of them. Okay, so Cordon steps to here, revives, gets commanded, and then moves on to here. Because, like, what else would I do with my command? I guess I'd kill a drone. Eh, it's not worth it. You don't want to put the medic in half cover and then the mecto walks up and shoots them because their defense is equal to someone else's. That's a bad idea. So Corns moves up, revives, gets commanded by Chris Tucker, moving I think to here and commanding you. Yeah, I know, PG. Then Chris Tucker rapid fires the drone afterwards. 71 aim, 83 aim, decent chance of killing it. Moves on. The Rocketeer gets up and either runs right or left, wherever they can make it to. We, we don't move Jeff Ronks yet because we don't know where they're going to be able to get to. Ideally not here, because I think that's going to burn. Jeff Ronks 
ideally then is maybe helping kill the drone. Probably just suppressing this muton actually. Is their incoming turn. Silent Bop, uh, you're probably the one who's gonna help kill the drone actually. And you're grenading again. Worst case, I could have you do the sector, so the sector doesn't move up, but I think it's fine. Like, how far would that be? One, two, three, four, five, six. You could get there. Maybe I preemptively suppress the sectoid in place so that the sectoid cannot move up and do anything, including move to this position and mind fray or shoot me. Uh, I'm probably going to have to suppress the sectoid, yeah. It just leaves me a bit low on ammo, but it is what it is. What if Medic goes to low cover, revives, and then commands smoke? I uh, um, yeah. She she had another smoke, didn't she? She had two. We used one. I don't think we ever used the second, right? Had to consider a position for my second revive. Yes, which is to the right coordinates. That's also why I want to move to the. Huh. Um, but the smoke could be life-saving. The smoke could literally be life-saving for us here, especially if more cover blows up. It might be what we need. Who had Savior? It was this gunner. I wish I could get Savior on the Cordons right now. No, um, not Cordons, Jeff Ronks. What's Cromulon doing this turn? Maybe assisting with more grenade over here to finish off these two. I don't hate the idea of the revive into smoke, but the problem is, if anything goes wrong of it somehow, like due to bugs, the medic is left in a terrible position. However, it does allow the medic to move to the next revive, potentially. If I do it right, how could I do it? It would be 357-7753. It would just be like here. So I wouldn't be able to like... 357-7753. I couldn't, like, cover this one. Wasn't I covered bug before? Oh yeah, it's back now, what the fuck? Or was that a different one? Who knows? Well, it's back now, anyway. And then you're probably gonna kill one, two... You won't have much tax sense as a thing. I just don't think it's worth it, because you draw fire onto the medic. And the medic is necessary for the rest of the mission to continue. So I just don't think it's a good idea. It's just not a good idea. Cordance needs to survive. Everyone else can go down, but Cordance needs to survive to revive so that this mission can, can continue be, to be won. So I think, or even extracted from about losing someone. So I think Cordance should not go there. It's just not a good idea. It'd be fine. I mean, for what limited that would bring, I don't think so. I would rather the gunner goes down and I revive them and get them back up again next turn. If someone else's low cover, but then you're just getting. Eh. Eh, but no, I don't like that either. I do not like that because then the gunner might draw fire from the half full cover. I don't like it. Look, I'm gonna do this turn, okay? It's a cool idea, but I don't, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna go. Move. Revive. Move. Command. Uh, kill. Kill. Well, you kill first. You kill if not kill. Otherwise, you either suppress it or rainy muton. Or... No, you're gonna suppress that muton, right? But you can suppress that muton. If you can suppress that muton, if Chris can get the drone, you can suppress that muton. You can suppress the back sectoid, which is probably necessary. Because otherwise, it's gonna fuck someone up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then you... I mean, you pure worst case could grenade that bench. We could even bait the sector over here. So that when it makes that move, it gets like a crit on someone, maybe at worst. But then we grenade you in return. It's like bait, right? We actually bait you. We dare you to take that, that mailbox. But that's later. That's the second half of the turn. Let's do the first half of the turn because I think I'm pretty happy with it. And I want to see what happens to the drone. So. Cordance maneuvers for the revive. Cordance go. No Overwatch, right? No Overwatch. T 
double checking because I'm so paranoid. Yeah. Points go to the right. Let's go. Scarabuda. Cordens does the revive. No Get over. Rocketeer is alive again. Total Geek, welcome back to being alive. Immediately CQB Rocket. No, <laughs> don't do that. Cordens can get to cover, so that's good. So now Chris Tucker. We're going to bring okay. you here. We're going to give you a command. Cordens. Which is a free action, and that's one of the best things I think we've changed about one more. So are you still hollowed? Oh wow, that persists. Shit, get the fuck out of there. So yeah, you're moving like to here. As soon as we get rid of the mutons, we can... Like, our cover should stop exploding as well, which would be nice. Though the mechdoids are going to do it again too, but whatever. If the second mechdoid activates, by the way, I think we're fucked. But we can maybe handle one mechdoid. Maybe just one. Though the mind merge shield's going to make it really tough. So now I've got to rapid fire you and I just need one to connect. If one of these connects, we're in the money. You know for the same... No, never mind. One of the activated the Sector and Drone. If it wasn't just a Sector and Drone, yeah, it could also be trouble, yeah. Make do my Grove to Civvies. True! It would honestly be good for me right now. So it's rapid fire time for you. Let's just do it. Please, 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 Chris. Chris, please! Oh, Chris! Shot failed to connect. Chris, I'm begging you! I'm begging you here! Okay, so you gotta do it this way instead. Just, just try. Give it a go! Perfect, well done. The drone is fucking dead. You will come back one. And we will... With with Shred, we should finish off that Muton. They're still shredded, yeah? Yeah, that should be fucking dead as Disco. So come back one so the Sector can't just see you for free. Moving out. Good. You have to get a little bit non-standard of how you use cover in fucking... In fucking uh, this setup, I'm, I'm afraid. Oh yeah, roll it under the fucking car. Give me that roll, that looked good. Wait, 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 wait. I seen it, it was perfect. Yep. Just like that. Suck on this. Oh, shit! Well, I know what the AG uh, is doing, unfortunately. No choice. Damn, that was low fucking AP damage for a dead on AP on against a shredded muton. That sucked. Now I can't blood up my HE though, which if I use this, which really extra sucks. But it is what it is. I mean, what are you gonna do? That muton needs to die. There's just no way around it. Cap? Uh, I'm not gonna cap. Good idea, but no. HE, please. Those are low grenades. Okay. I think there might still be another muton out there, but we can only see the one right now. And we can only deal with what we can see, folks. Isn't that right? Of course it is. Of course it's, it's just right. I don't know how I'm going to get here. I don't know how I'm going to get this assault up. I'm going to, like, try, like, a cope revive through the wall next turn. It's probably not going to work, but I'm going to try it. Did Jake Solomon's team think of the... You, you probably need loss. They probably thought of it. You're gonna back the fuck off. Quickly. Heading to that location. How was the raid stream? It was my first unironic one. And I actually... Started enjoying the gameplay. It was fucked up. Another wall looks when you can run through there. That's what I'm kind of betting on, actually, yeah. The Mecto will come up, stop my suppressor from suppressing the Muton, and the Muton will grenade everyone. That's my plan. Yes. Alright. Give the fucker some suppression. Aye, aye, suppression. Oh, what? They can just move up to there? Ow! 
Weren't they there before already? Who knows? Now this is what everyone's been afraid of. Okay, that could have been worse, I guess. There's no shield on it. Is wait. There's a third Mechtoid port and it activated too. Holy shit! What the fuck? Oh fuck me. Well, shit. I didn't know there was a fucking third one. What the fuck is going on? Okay, we have to evac. What the fuck? I didn't know there was a third Mechtoid. Please don't hit. <laughs> oh! We're not gonna get to evac. There's too many bodies to get up. Which means I need to leave people. Uh, there's there's absolutely zero way I can kill these mech toads, which means I just need to leave. What really fucking sucks though is I have to now make a choice between the medic or the assault. One of the worst things about XCOM 1 that they fixed in XCOM 2 is that there's no like you can't just like get on board the Sky Ranger one turn and then like have the rest, you know, evac later. It's this turn or never. And because of that, we're gonna have to leave all these people because otherwise you're not gonna survive a second turn. The only possible thing we could do is like maybe break loss behind this wall and get like one extra person up. But it's fucked. Like, I want to get the Concealment Assault, but that means literally trading Cordance's life to do it. I would literally be throwing Cordance to the wolves as a prisoner. That's so fucked up. Also, there's fucking Overwatch there, by the way. I still have Cordons is here. Cordons would tell me if they wanted to do that. Cordons, you did to me once already. I know. You already died, Cordons. And there's just no way to win this. Like, if we had rockets, yeah, but all the rockets are gone from everything else, from the Berserkers. It's so funny because when I went on this mission, I was like, well, at least they've got to pick between Mechtoids or Berserkers. No, they, they, can, they can definitely have both, it turns out. But there's just no way, like, I lose everything if I don't evac. I cannot kill those mechtoids. I hate this, but I have to go. So you can make it out. You can make it out. Oh, I really like this engineer. You can make it out. Well, we'll get to you. If I had command, I could get two of you up, but I just fucking used it to get the rocketeer up, so... Uh, it doesn't work that way. I don't think. Oh, if you don't get the equipment back that they had, it's just like random shit. You're gonna have to just run, I think. This is really bad for alien research too, because um, li living soldiers captured by the aliens give them more alien research. So this extra sucks. I probably fucking will. What have we got? You're on the ground. There's a 0% chance that you survive that even with smoke. I'd love to give you the opportunity, but you won't live it. Like, what is the most conservative way to play this? Well, no, conservative way is it just evac. What is, like, the most aggressive way to try and revive people? You would go here, revive, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's just 6, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You get a revive 6. Next turn, you would get a 7th. And then you would leave Cordance. And get the Assault out. However, if this wall just happens to explode... Or if any of them get eyes on me and then, like, bring in a Muton Grenade. Then... You could potentially lose everyone. For trying to get one more person out. I hate to say this, but this gunner is a corporal. It's really not worth that risk. By rights, loss should pre pre 
Bro Broken Law should prevent the mutants from grenading me, but there is a good chance that this wall just crumbles and everyone dies and I lose every single person. So that's stupid. I would be kicking myself if I did that and it didn't work. You're a really good engineer, but I'm going to have to leave you. I think I just have to try and get the... Well, that's actually up to Cordance. I'm, not, I'm actually not going to make that choice. I'm going to say we are evacking. Um, Cromulon is going to have to run the, the Mechtoid Overwatch to start with anyway. Or maybe actually Tucker. Maybe Officer Tucker first. And then I'm going to leave it to Cordance. Oh, Cordance, you can also say you don't want to make the choice if you don't want to, if it's like too much stress for a viewer. I remember from the RimWorld days learning that. But Cordance, if you want to make the choice here, I'll leave it to you. If you want to run, if you want to eva uh, revive the assault or try to, I'll leave it to you. Otherwise, I'll make the choice if you can't make it, huh, RimWorld? Yeah, I, when I did Twitch integration in RimWorld, I remember I gave everyone the choices all the time, and then eventually, like, there was like this breaking point where people were like, Stop making us decide everything, it's too much stress! I was like, oh, okay, sorry. So I think about that for now. <laughs> Pizza, I didn't mind. I'm glad you didn't mind. You have to move everyone to Evac before you try. Well, yeah. Corinne says, it's not too much stress. I just don't know what's better going forward if it's revive medic or saving them. I, I have a decision on that, Cordance, but I want you, if you don't mind making it, I want you to make the choice. What would you do if this was real? If this was real, if you were really Cordance here, and the, the Sky Ranger is leaving in 20 seconds, in 10 seconds, and all this shit is out there and everyone's screaming, would you run out there and get him up or would you go? If my commander orders me forward, I'm going. <laughs> Chris Tucker, are you here? Chris Tucker, are you here? Do we have Chris Tucker in chat? <laughs> Major Chris Tucker, are you in chat? <laughs> Pass the buck to the officer. Chris Tucker isn't here. Then I guess it's my choice is what that says to me. Would I... Would I in this situation tell... Cordance. Hey, get the fucking get the fucking assault up. No, I wouldn't. I would be like, get the fuck out of there, squad. Str though strategically, I would get the assault up. There's a wall there for cover. Yeah, but you're gonna get left behind because we're about to evac. Unfortunately. Unless you killed the mutant, but there's no way to do that. I think you lost a rogue consumer structure already. I think so. It just keeps happening to them. The trolley problem. Cordis is attack sense medic, which is useful, but they're only a corporal, maybe a sergeant now if they live. Whereas a concealment assault could save more lives in the future, but that assault is not going to be back for like two months, and I need people to live now. You don't lose the gear of the people you lose, it's just random what you lose, I'm pretty sure. Though if it's- if not, saving the scatter laser is smarter. Do you- here, here's the decider. Do you lose the gear off the soldiers you- that got killed and left behind? Because if so, we've got Gauss rifles coming in. It'd be smarter to leave a laser rifle. I hate that this decision has been thrown back onto me. I wanted to roleplay it, but now I'm- now I'm fucked. Now I gotta make a strategic choice to try and make this campaign live. It's a roll, I'm pretty sure. I think so too. I'm sure you don't lose gear you carry out, right? Yeah, I mean, that wouldn't make sense. Damn ones. All right. Get the assault. I've decided. Get the assault. Get the assault up, Cordons. Shoot is in two months. You can have another consumer soldier. Wait. That's also true. I can get more consumer soldiers in two months. I don't have any tax sense medics now. I've already killed Cordons once. 
Ah, oh, can't fucking. Fuck it. No. Cordons leave. We're gonna leave with Cordons. I need soldiers alive now. And I do need medics. Fuck concealment. If concealment was so good, they wouldn't keep dying. Who's running the Overwatch? Cromulon is running the Overwatch, I think. No, Cromulon can't dash. It should be someone who can dash with the best possible odds. Which means... <laughs> Which means... <laughs> smoke doesn't help, by the way. So don't even bother with smoke. Smoke doesn't help against Overwatch. Or does it now? Did it get changed? No, no, no. Activate your, ju your jet boots! Activate your jet boots, Chris Tucker, and make a big dash. That is uh, in the LZ. Yeah, that's in the LZ. Here we go! For the last time, Obsidian. You could say it in chat. Affirmative. Come on, I'm flying! Oh! <laughs> Get the fuck out of there! Okay, the rest of you, pull the fuck out. That's it. If this was an XCOM 2 and I could do staggered of evacs, Corns and the others would be staying with smoke to try and get as many out as possible. It is not. We have to pick a moment to get out, and unfortunately that moment is three left dead. You come to here. You haven't got more overwatch, do you? No, you're done. Yeah, you come here. Headed there now. I hate to leave him behind. But there's no other choice. Not reviving anyone? No, because that would leave Cordon's. Cordon's not a paramedic. You come here. Good sweet. You come here. Heading there now. You come here. Alright. Heal, 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 heal. Can you do this without fucking killing yourself? L hopefully. That should not scatter back onto myself. I need to deny the bodies to lower their research. Fucking brutal. Well, it is what it is. I can't put it too close because it would be wor it would be worse to kill Total Geek. So this probably doesn't work. But if I but if I put it too close. Alright, this is a good turn. This is XCOM, baby! This is the long war fucking research rules. If I put it too close, I might kill kill us, which is just stupid. So just do it like this. That should not scatter back onto us, I don't think. Watch the rockets gotta hit the mechanism to turn into a winnable fight. It, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't do enough damage. Just don't blow yourself up. <laughs> we got cliche. That's one less. That's all the grenades we got, I'm afraid. Evac. Yeah. Deployment aborted. Returning to base. Terrible. Doesn't feel right. I know it doesn't. It doesn't feel good, does it? Tell you he's out for 64 days. 27 days for Chris Tucker. 22 days for Cordens. Five of us did live, though. These are the worst possible decisions that we have to make in Long War. Packmaster. What went so wrong in that mission? Um, I think the fact that three natural mechtoid pods spawned on the mission is what went wrong. Also, the fact that it was a pretty low-ranked squad, I literally couldn't even exhaust many better soldiers. Like, everyone was exhausted from the large landed. Remember that we had a large landed two hours ago? On, like, the last day of- last 12 hours of the month? So, we had that large landed, which we went on. Which then, had all our good soldiers exhausted and used. So then there was no one ready for the two hours later terror mission, which then- Also, I put the menu on for Berserkers. Which would have been different? I don't know, people would have just bought- people would have just bought mech toys, probably. So it might have been similar. So it's just like, low-ranking squad. 
Um, f absolutely fucked spawning of aliens on the mission. Just an absolute buy round for the aliens. And... Other than that, like... What killed us in the end? If I'd smoked the assault, they probably would have lived, right? Maybe. That, 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 would, that was what happened, that's right. Is um, Twice what happened is that cover got blown up. And that's something from that map. Is... Um... We had two critical situations there where the cover blew up, and you got- I guess I just gotta remember, those pieces of cover are gonna be notoriously flimsy. I gotta remember that from now on. Is the cover, though it was full, just got destroyed at the drop of a hat, like a plasma would hit it and it would go. And that's something to remember with that- that map type and those wall types. Those thin- those thin, like, cobble walls, and those tall, full-covered trees, they're more like concealment than cover, because they- they seem to go down very quickly. Um, the big problem there also is just, like, not being able to get to a better position on that map at all. Um, but I think having known what I know now in, in reverse, I think the big thing is I would not fight from that position because I know that cover is very flimsy. I would probably, like... But that's the thing, if I had broken left, right, if I had just gone to the left, to the, to the building, then I'm too far from evac to evac, but we're talking about winning the mission. Activating the mechtoids at all was bad, but I kind of wasn't left of a lot of choices either because I had to deal with the berserkers. I mean, I, it's just not an ideal situation all over. Ideally, we have like mayhem strike rifle bug skipper just killing the berserkers on the way in for free. You know? Also, the berserkers did some crazy shit with their like walks, like fucking around where like they didn't group up right and made them a huge pain to deal with from the start. Just a whole lot of shit. I think there's, like, some lessons learned there, but they weren't, like, the defining reasons the mission went down. Banny says, I think rocketing the Berserkers was wrong. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. I, I, as I've said, though, I'm very terrified of Bull Rush. To the point that I think, like, I'm over-terrified of it. And it's better to just take the Bull Rush. We saw that it only does six damage. Banny says, just not taking cover and do it so it might be better. Yeah, maybe. But I was also worried of the amount of shit coming in that, like, they would get into the alley with me and I'd just die anyway. But I think with these missions, the continuous lesson that's a really hard habit for me to unlearn, and there's a lot of habits to unlearn of this, this campaign, a really hard habit for me to unlearn is the idea of playing a mission where no one goes down. And that really isn't... It really locks me off to a lot of tactics that I need to start using to exploit the AI in this campaign. Because what Bounty's saying is probably true, in that the right thing to do actually... And this, this is not something I would ever would have thought of doing in normal vanilla long war, but the right thing to do in hindsight would probably be... Hide behind the walls, put someone with a respirator up front, so that if a berserker happens to come through the alley and sees us, they go down, but they're not dead, and then we revive them and get them up. And then just have this, like, crazy, like, pizza party with, like, shotguns and berserkers in, at point blank. But that probably, in hindsight, would have been better than having the mechtoids eventually activate and all the other shit. But, um... We just lack damage, too. We just lack good soldiers as well, which really sucks, but, yeah... Anyway, um, the gunner here gets... Oh, Packmaster is actually kind of nice. Yeah, true bounty, because we had a lot of shotguns. That's also true. So I think bounty's probably right. As usual, I think bounty's almost always right. If you want to see someone saying something right in chat, just look at whatever bounty's saying. Uh, that's what I do. Um, and I think bounty's probably right there that um, rocketing was a mistake. It would have been better to break loss and try to abuse loss there. Um, I didn't do it at the time, though, because I was sure that would result in someone going down. But like I said, I have to break that mental link in my head of, like, a good tactic means no one goes down. In this campaign, a good tactic means one person goes down and can be revived safely. That is, in the situation there of, like, a non-ideal map, number of enemies, type of enemies, and squad, one person going down and getting revived would have been a flawless victory, really. So that's something I need to, like, figure out, is try to try to keep that going. Corner says, I feel like the big thing you need every, need every mission is more space. Yes, and the reason... The reason that we never have it, of course, is because of the kitchen gimmick, there's always aliens coming. So it's tough. Um, you could argue that maybe I need more aggressive squads in general. I didn't... Couldn't have picked it on that mission anyway, I don't think. But you could argue that, like, maybe there's a case to be made for having a more aggressive squad, like, full of assaults and, like, marauder mechs and stuff where we fight to just, like, rush whatever pod's close to us and kill it instantly with run and guns and shit and, like, tons of grenades and rockets just to get ready for the other shit coming so we can make space. But yeah, space is always what's gonna make or break missions as well. Like, 
If you can fall back and, like, play lost games and exploit squad site weapons, the game is so much easier. But when you're pressed up against a, a, you know, a map edge, you have less options for where you want to fight, less options for cover, less options to fall back. Of course it's harder. Um, absolutely. Anyway, it is what it is. Yeah, I did lose the scatter laser. It does suck. Two more carapace and a reinforced go away. I think you have another reinforced, so I'll just keep that one because I've only been using one per squad anyway. The laser pistols are gone again. I need to build th this shit again. We will be in touch, Commander. Sucks, man. Shit sucks. So all this stuff. There's no way I can justify holding on to this for now. That's a ton of money too. Sell all that. What about Wokebot? Yeah, I I would probably have taken Wokebot on the mission if they weren't out for 31 days because they sh got shot by a thin man three times. Shadow Knight says, delay the adding of A's after an order is made. Don't just put them on the map as soon as they're ordered. Dot, dot, dot. Nah. I like the way this works. You just gotta get good. The fact that I have to get good is good. It makes this interesting for me. I like it. It's rare we get a totally unwinnable mission. So it's just sometimes we get really hard missions. Need better grenades. Yes! I also need better grenades. The lack of captures is really hurting me with the lack of alien grenades. The lack of, um... The lack of grenade, the better grenades is definitely hurting. Banny says the cover getting blown up thing is also a big attractive point for low profile. Light cover has smaller hitboxes to get shot up by strays. True, also there tends to be more indestructible half cover. Uh, like burnt out cars and stuff. So you're dead on right that I haven't taken a single low profile and I need to start taking low profile on people. Euchre, thank you for raiding. I appreciate it. We're hitting the problem of a lot of like deaths lately where a lot of our really shiny soldiers are dying. And we're really lacking, like, good killers. I need to, like, level up more infantry, I think. It's tough. It's tough stuff. Okay, we need two more carapaces. Just get used to this, okay? Normally in Long War, it's like you build equipment once, and you're like, that was fun, done with that. I think in this campaign, get used to the fact that we're going to have to keep rebuilding shit. This is going to get normal. Normalize spending hundreds of dollars to rebuild your armory after every fucking weekend. Need a lot of roster death? Yeah, you did. That's why I've ordered so many. Does that mean you should just be investing in spares? Nah, because you need the money for everything else, because you're always cash starved in this as well. Happy to be how are you today? I'm... Well, I mean, I just lost a mission, but it wasn't a wipe, so I'm learning. So I'm doing okay, I think. How are you? Yeah, instant, instant loss, which is even more research for them. Oh, and the timing is dick punishing because I'm pretty sure the research for alien bases is added at the end of the months, right? So this is going to supercharge their, their research. The two, the two um, down but not outs, plus the loss, plus the base built, right in like the last 10, and I lose the cash from South Africa, yeah, right in like the last 10 hours of the month. Just, everything about this terror mission is just like hell. Just a hellish punch in the dick for when I was starting to feel good after that large landed. Absolutely cruel, honestly. Um, keep researching these so we can keep shooting them down. Should have delayed the mission by 12 hours. Yeah, I didn't think of that. I actually should have. I should have, um, in hindsight, I didn't think of that. Because I also wasn't even sure if it like instantly loses, but it does. Yeah, if you if you extract from a terror, you instantly lose the country. Um, which I get confused with because like XCOM 2 is different with like different kinds of missions. Anyway, um, point is I get confused about it because I thought bombs did that, but bombs don't actually. They just do panic. Hmm. Well, I mean scan. That's that. So scan. The regenerative power of steam is here, and we're going to need it. Barley says the sad part is it was mostly vanilla pods that did us in. I don't think that's really, like, a very clever take. Because I think if you look at that with, like, beyond just, like, what's directly in front of your eyes, it's more that the berserkers fucking ruined us in the setup, and, like, then we were spending all this time fighting the mutons. Like, if we hadn't burnt everything we had and all of our focus on those berserkers... Um, 
and then also, you know, having to use it all on the mutons, it, it, we, we can kill the mectoids. If it's just those mectoids and it's like one mectoid point at a time, because also don't forget, our positioning had to take into account getting bull rushed. If it's just like those mectoids, we can easily beat the shit out of that. You know, no fucking problem. You could make those solo that point and stuff. Like that. Absolutely, yeah. 100%. That's what you gotta remember, is it's like Mechabellum. It's not just like, oh, you know, the mectoids didn't even do any damage to us. It's, why couldn't we handle the mectoids? Also, it's like that most of the AI's cover wasn't distractible. I mean, that sucks too, yeah. Yeah, we couldn't make a demo there, but that is what it is. That's what happens when you play that backside. Hey, it's something I gotta consider. I gotta consider with the weight of fire uh, and pre-activated aliens in this. I gotta consider taking positions that won't blow up the to, to weapons fire. It used to just be like a once-off, like, oh man, that, that's bullshit. But now, really, it's just a thing you've gotta plan around. Um, just get me to the fucking next month so I can start building shit. Commander, we oh, just there lost they go the too. support of another council member. Oh. This does not bode well for XCOM, Commander. These recent departures from the Council are of serious concern. You've okay. done an admirable job in combating the alien threat over the course of this past month, Commander. However, we still believe there is room for improvement in your efforts. Remember, we will be watching. There's like no good time to get containment going, but like, it's now. It, the time to get containment going is always now. If I can afford it now, I'm that much closer to getting alien grenades done, and the lack of alien grenades is hurting us. I can also get other captures going to help me. A foundry is essential to get Thin Man medkits at this point. It really has been way too long about it. And it's tough because you just don't have a lot of money, but if I were to play this campaign again... I mean, if I were to play a second campaign after this one, if we lose this one, I think I would sell even more Illyrium. I would sell every, probably every scrap of Illyrium I had if it meant that I could get the Foundry and Containment going faster, like three months ago, basically. Banny says, I think you don't need Containment for grenades. You can still can cap, they just die after they reach the base. Oh, that's true. I should have built a fucking Arc Thrower a long time ago. You're so right. It's a bit of a misplay. Yeah, you actually don't need the Muton Captive. You just need to get the grenade. I actually forgot that. Which is why I haven't bothered building an Arc Thrower. Kind of stupid, really. Um, I could have had alien grenades a while ago. Doesn't really matter though, because I wasn't able to get the fucking foundry built, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. But I could have got the capture, yeah. You're right. I should build an arc thrower ASAP. For that reason, you're right. Uh, okay. Start building the foundry. I don't have enough alloys to build a Nexus, so this is not a satellite month. I want to keep expanding my air game, but I just can't afford it. I couldn't afford the more interceptors and shit either. I probably should just build more laser cannons if I can... No, I can't because alloys. That alloy ship was a massive blunder. Never. It's so sad because, I, like I said, I miss building alloy ships, but it's just really always a blunder, I think, to build alloy ships. It's just never worth it uh, at their price. It's just never worth it. Because they, they have like four a blade of armor and then the rest is HP. So you get one, and even if it doesn't die, it's like out for like a month after every mission. It's just useless. I really hate it. I really hate like how flimsy it is for what its job is. If I was fucking balancing this thing, either the cost would come down back to like fucking half, or I would just give it a shitload of ablative. It would be like half its health would be a blade of armor. But that they did that because they don't want you to exploit the aliens. When they balanced it, they were like, oh, you can just take an alloy ship and, like, sectoids can't hurt you or whatever. Which it can, but, you know, early sectoids. So they, they didn't want it to be free, I guess. It needs 4 DR. Or that, just more DR. But it just kind of sucks at its job. I really should not have got on the Wokemobile train. The Wokehound train has financially ruined me. Imagine if I had 80 more alloys right now. I would be building a satellite nexus, probably. Very upset. Very upset with myself. Yeah, I, I, I unironically went woke and went broke. It sucks. It, it sucks. Finally, at least one time in the world it's happened. It really sucks. Go woke, go disc. <laughs> See ya, Gazeldon. Heretica says, one problem with the kitchen format is that it reset the mortgage really bad for people's mortgage. It's not great. But it only takes like a month to get back to discs. Logos says, are you sure a second ally shift won't help? I don't think so, buddy. 
I don't think so. What do I want to build? <laughs> Osmania says, wait, what's the rule? No, no, Horensica means that if we go back to March, it's back to cheaper aliens. But I like the idea that maybe Ozymandias is thinking, like, there's a rule that if I lose a campaign, I, like, get $20,000 added to my mortgage in real life or something. <laughs> it's like what Basil suggested on the fucking comments of, like, there should be a penalty so he doesn't just restart campaigns instantly. Yeah. Yeah, I get, like, another 20 grand added to my mortgage every time I lose a campaign. That's a... It's like Germa, but real. <laughs> lose the campaign, lose your house. <laughs> Every move would be like a day of planning. If you lose the run, you give away all the money from that run? Oh no. Mr. Beast can afford to do that, okay? Oh, if I lose the run, I'll give all that money to charity. Yeah, okay. No fucking thank you for me, though. Ask Mr. Beast to play XCOM. He can do that. Oh, that's what I was about to just thought. I had to give the money to charity. Yeah, no, fuck no. The charity is me. Mr. Beegs would do it? Yeah, maybe Mr. Beegs, yeah. I'm just trying to say what I want to build here, and also could just gonna have to sit around and talk. Counts as a workshop for a JC benefit, so we should kill it. Sorry, we should build it? Sorry, not kill it. Because it's a cheap adjacency. And maybe, can we afford like another workshop? Because we're really like running out of alloys, and again, the best time to get it done is like now. If I can get this done before I get advanced gals, it'd be sick. And I can. It's only powers and money, so I should just, like I just said, sell all the Illyrium and get like at least a 4x4. A 4x4 or a 2x2, sorry. A 2x2 would help a lot. I think. We're fucking ages from Firestorm, so you can sell more of that, I think. You need to select one. Because, yeah, that, that power was for sats, but it's not going to happen this month. It's funny how you think we'll see a firestorm this year. <laughs> oh, this year? Like, real life year of XCOM? I think I'll get there. I think if I keep playing this two days a weekend this entire year, I feel like we're at least going to get the firestorms before 2025. If not, win a campaign. I would be surprised if we don't win a campaign of this. Okay, what well, is surprise the right word, Beagle? I would be like... Let, let's... What are my odds? I reckon... I reckon 60-40 I beat a campaign of this without any more difficulty additions before 2025. I'm actually not conf I'm not confident. The more I think about it, like, it depends- it, it's so fluctuating. It depends how mean people are to me with sector bot and ethereal buys. I think either I beat a campaign of this by the- before 2025, or I haven't beat one, but I have a second house. I think that's probably what's going to happen. I just got to get better at retreating from missions where people overbuy. Benny says, I'm not confident we could finish a normal campaign at that time. True, but this is dynamic war. Yeah, I sure do, Kara. You missed it yesterday. Okay, so that's the workshop lock coming. I won't, like, I, I can't go for a six, so that's fine. The only thing now is, do I want to try and get a containment going? Everything by the, numbers. the problem with a containment is I can't do sats, but I think I already can't. No, no, it's just eight power. Okay. So yeah, I want to leave that power, and I want to try to get a nexus up next month. Which means no alien captures right now. Oh, but you could get a muton captive, man. You could, you, you need that shit. You don't really actually, like, the, the alien research credits aren't that fucking good, honestly. Like, if we're being real, the amount of time you spend researching them, especially about the SA bonus or the NA bonus now, the North America bonus, it really isn't, like, that fucking helpful, I feel. Like, the savings are so finely balanced that it's like, it's like a little boost. You get the gene mods and size stuff, but that's not relevant yet. Corpses just means extra damage, yeah, but that's not that's not a containment, that's just corpses. I I think like interrogations are a luxury we don't need and can't afford. I think just save the money for uh, save the money and save the power for a Nexus maybe next month. 
And that's it for it right now, I think. Being able to do a base is the best thing. But again, you don't need a containment for that. Outsiders are free captures. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. You get the keys for freeze. I think the real thing I need to spend money on is try and put aside $900 somehow to max out my officer rank so I can get the fastest possible XP training. Because the biggest thing that's putting us at a risk of losing this campaign, one, is if we keep losing countries, obviously. But the biggest thing, I think, is a lack of good soldiers. I need these guys to be VR training quicker. I need to get those extra two ranks up because because the, the final rank ups on the officer training school give you even more VR training than the earlier ones. So they're even more beneficial than just getting two more rank ups. Because every one of these we get increases the rate at which they automatically train. I need to get these. I think this is like the most important next thing to get. Beyond making money, obviously, for like uh, Gauss rifles and shotguns and shit. I think we need this. It's going to take a lot more deaths to win this campaign if I have a hope of it. So I just need to get that done. Now, it's going to take 21 days for that. Wait a minute. Okay, I'd say rebuild this shit. Move this around so that it at least finishes after the repair bay. So we get some adjacency. So these two at least. The rifle and the auto rifle. Maybe the scatter laser too. I want that to come afterwards so we get rebates. If I was being greedy, I'd do it for the new carapaces as well. How much ally would I save? It's only like 5%, isn't it? Maybe don't worry. Repair barrier on someone do anything, but it's next to a foundry, you see. True, but you're right. 18 days doesn't matter, you're right. Doesn't fucking matter. Doesn't matter. No, you're right, you're right, you're right. I see what you mean. The foundry won't be done in time. Uh, terrible fucking deal. No fucking way, bro. No way, Jack. Based on our analysis, blah, 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 blah. Gauss really just came out of nowhere this campaign. That's why I didn't have a workshop block up either. I ain't even thinking about it. It's like, oh shit, it's Gauss. <sighs> More alloys will help me too. I could do a research of these so if I get another large line of abductor, and I, I probably will need to do it to keep ahead in this campaign. If I get another large line of abductor, I can get more alloys out of it. I could also do xenogenetics. Uh, I don't have the alloys for advanced aerospace. I think there is stuff that isn't alloys, but... I also don't have the alloys for advanced gauss. I don't have the alloys for any of this shit. You could do abductor for 20% more alloys, or... Do you want to have from meds? Yeah, I do have to do that. Mex? Mex? Yeah! I need advanced aerospace, I think, next. I don't have the alloys for anything, but I think there are foundries I can do that don't require um, alloys, and I need to start doing them. So probably do the manual autopsy in advanced aerospace. The tall one has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the thin man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, they seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which appear to be reptilian in nature. Nom, nom. Sorry. Can I eat in the autopsy? Is that okay? Mm, nom nom. Okay. That's coming. Contact detected. It's not a problem. Big success. Let's go. Big success is incoming. Give me a small. I need a. I need an easy one. Can I eat during the interception, Bradford? Thank you. Approaching target now. Oh shit. Disengaging. Fuck. Shut up. Closing on target. Get up! Get up! Fuck you! Fuck you! Get him! Yeah. Ah! Oh 
All right, fuck you. God damn it, what the fuck? Jesus. That one scout fucked us so bad. One hit is 11 days out. PG says, remember, you need to take Cliché's pilot off them. Remember, the seems they dead. <laughs> oh, PG, you little tattletale. I would have forgotten that, too. You little tattletale. <laughs> and then PG says, raffle. Give me it. All right. Sorry, but that was the rule. Cliché was both soldier and pilot. Cliché's dead. So we need to get a new pilot in this jet. That's true. Sorry, Cliché. Really sucks. That's really, really what I should have done, is I should have looked at the receipts and been like, Cordance and Cliché, which one has given me more money? <laughs> I should have made... <laughs> I was doing like... I was making it on strategic in-game greed. I should have been on real-life greed. Now, uh, now, I've, now Cliché's gonna back out of the XCOM project. This is a bad idea. Get your raffles in. Cliché, if Cliché's here, they could win again. You never know. I'm gonna give you 20 seconds until I finish this delicious bun. This bun is so tasty. Here it comes. Here comes the raffle. Oh, that's so fucking tasty. My god, that's what I needed. I'm gonna buy more of these buns. Mmm. They're so good. Okay. Here comes the pilot. Oh my god, no way! It's actually P.E. Joker Wolfblade. Joker Wolfblade, you're in. Joker Wolfblade! Are you also a soldier? I'm not sure. Give perk ship name. <laughs> what, what do you call a person <laughs> who comes in afterwards? What, what's a shorter word for follow-up act? Oh, yeah! There you go. Um, who won it again? Joker Wolfblade. Remember Joker Wolfblade from OVA? Alright, there you go. Sloppy seconds. Uh, that's not going to fit on the helmet. It would. I'm a coward. Okay. Wasn't Joker Wolfblade the um, rocketeer from OVA that Barley lasered in the head? Oh man, why did I get Croker killed? They had 92 kills. Croker would be carrying this campaign on their back if I waste. Oh, that mission. Oh, I fucked that mission up. That mission ruined my campaign. I'd be so. I'd be doing so good if I hadn't had that mission. But also, that mission taught me to play better. Told me important lessons. No, that was the one of four mechdoids with the bomb that Iglog died for, who also had 31 kills. God damn it! No, dude, this, this was pointless. Damn it! 92 kills! Oh my god, they would have carried this campaign on their back! They had heat! I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm fine. AQL is almost... No, she's not. AQL doesn't have the damage for this point of the campaign anyway. She doesn't have mayhem. <laughs> What she really means. How many kills does AQL have? Uh, she has 81. She actually has less kills than Croker had. Croker's secret OP. I cannot believe Croker had that many kills. Croker, Croker was literally my protagonist to win this campaign for me. And by getting them killed, I think I ruined my, my chances. Um... Bjorn says, how much do we need to pay to give AQ a mayhem? Worry about yourself, Bjorn. Okay, your, your reactor is going to worry about yourself with your rifle. Hmm. We, we just got a little crazy on reaction, okay? AQL was like, reaction is goaded. And then I was like, let's take every reaction soldier we can get. And yes, that was good for a time. But then we hit Cyberdisc month. And it was suddenly like, actually, Overwatch does have some drawbacks. When you don't have mayhem on a scout rifle. Hmm. There's nothing else to do, right? I just gotta go forward. Wait, no, hang on. Fucking gotta shovel these shits around. Cause my shit is all over the goddamn place. Send a stingray over here. Ah, sure. 
hopefully because we had a UFO already, I'll get some breathing room before the next UFO so that I can get my fleet back in order. I really need, like, some breathing room for my fleet. Oh, dear. Okay, I think the autopsy is done. <sighs> to advance the space. I need the air game to be better. I appreciate your efforts to so Yeah, I know. I know, Fallen. At least the Gauss rifles are done. Because the one thing is I've, like, undervalued taking infantry on squads. Because, I, like, you can get light on other people. But the thing, to the thing to remember with infantry is they are a combination of good health stat and good aim stat. That's the big thing about training roulette that I have to remember and sometimes forget. Is that the reason AQL is so good... Or well, one of the reasons is because she's a sniper, she has the best aim climb in the game. That's a bit random with the hidden potential stats going on. Everyone can end up kind of different. But on average, um, maybe I need like more infantry because they do have quite a good aim climb. Or they should. Ammo con? Oh, I'm nowhere near a 40 ammo con. What is this? That's not a base assault, surely. There's no way to be a base assault. It's a very large and it's searching. It's either a... No, because it'll say vectoring towards exclamation HQ. It's just a fucking battleship here to blow my sats up. Are you kidding me? It's just a fucking sat hunting battleship. Wow, I hate you. I need to build a backup sat. Hear me out, we can build another shiv. <laughs> Commander, our current contact detected. You fucker. Which usually only happens before the base is all, isn't it? Oh god. I hope not. Commander, Fuck. one of our satellites is no longer responding to guidance. Oh, over front! The government of the nation it was monitoring has pulled their funding as a result. No, it's okay. That's actually the best one for the takedown. Never mind. Ignore my indignation. That's the best one for the takeout because I don't lose anything. It is over my base, though, which means we could get base assaulted, but, like, I have nothing to do about that. If I get base assaulted, I get base assaulted. What are you gonna do about it? Not play it today, that's for sure. <laughs> Would like to do that. Cannot do that. Need them for the incoming... I think I think you said you have three corpses for the Foundry project. Let me see. Eskom Companion. An early base assault. It will be a very early base assault in August. But I think we've actually had one in August before. I'm not sure. Thin man. Medikits. Improved medikits. You need 20 corpses. Oh, fuck. I can't even. Fuck. I can't even do it. You need 20 thin man corpses. Jesus fucking Christ. Contact detected. Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Do your job! Do your fucking job! Get it! Enemy is padlocked. One hit, no hit back. Fuck. Miracle, please! Oh my god! Just get crit, how about that? Okay. I think actually I said a lie. It's not $900 on these that I need. What I actually needed was another six interceptors cycling in and out of this shit. Because this is fucked. This is absolutely fucked. That's gonna be two satellites. Because research, uh, alien research also makes their UFO missions better. Is that the other problem? So we got a lot of shit going on right now. So I'll have one of these. Didn't hold. No, they sure didn't. You might notice also my interceptor pilots aren't like super leveled. Like none of them like have very good ranks. Three is the best we have. Um, build number seven. So Jover, it, it's looking pretty bad right now. Yeah. 
Things are not looking good for us. XCOM fans. Hold up, this guy says, if I recall correctly last campaign, you invested heavily into your air game and it paid off quite handsomely. Yeah, it does. If you can dominate the air game, it does. Unfortunately, it wasn't so much that we invested in the air game as we had the squadrons mod, which makes the air game incredibly easy, um, is actually what happened. Will says, I think we learned a lot more this campaign, though. We did, but don't, don't say it's over yet. I mean, it's fucked, but don't say it's over yet. How are we gonna- what are we gonna do here? Do I- I mean, I've already lost a set in Europe. I guess just, like, keep defending- just lose Europe and keep defending Asia right now. Bring my squadrons limited to, like, three planes or something. You could do squadrons, but only set up two planes at a time, but... I mean... It's still kinda- it's still kinda bro- I guess you could do three planes. I mean, the, en the enemy gets three UFOs, so it's probably be harder. Unless I didn't up their health this time. Look, I'll think about that later. It was more fun, I'll give it that, but it was way broken. It was way fucking OP. It was way, 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 way fucking OP. Hmm. It is fun, though, yeah. I agree it is fun. Maybe, like, leaders give you plus one plane, and then as the leaders rank up, you can get a plus two for a wing of three. I'll think about it if we end up doing a new campaign, but not right now. Hey, where are you going? Oh, right. You're ruining my life. Nope. I'm gonna need those in case my gals get sucked. Until we can re-establish satellite coverage, the nation it was monitoring has suspended their monthly contribution of funds. What do we lose from Russia? Oh, that's annoying. That does kind of suck. Igla says, have you all noticed how things were going well when I was alive and it started to go awfully after I died? Just food for four. Just food for thought. Yeah, good point. Really good point. At least the ground game is looking good now, says so hyphenated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Commander, we're tracking several right. reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Butcher shop. Now, if this goes really badly, I'd say we're on, like... A really, really bad slide of this campaign. It's a medium. Those have gone up plus three, so it's 12 to, to, to I think 15 is the right number. Because I think all missions have gone up plus three, right? I remember saying that. Or was that just UFOs? Hang on. <sighs> everywhere, everywhere. Oh, more missions. What I'm going to do for next campaign, if I have to play another one, is I'm going to write this down. Yeah, you get another pod. So it's plus three to all missions. So 15 will still be correct for this moderate. Because it's 12 normally, I believe. Alright, who have we got? Who's even ready? Nyara hasn't really been taking on missions for a while. Maybe it's finally time to see if Nyara can save us. You know, evening SWF, how you doing? Maybe it's time to fucking respec Ariok finally. I don't think I'm gonna make it much further. I mean, that's the question. Is it going to actually give you a new tree or just let you repick? It should just let you repick. How's the kitchen cooking? Oh, hot today. I would build you Packmaster, Bombard, Tandem probably. Tandem, Bombard, Packmaster. PPT never. With like a flush in, I guess. And that's gonna be your fucked up build. That's gonna be your fucked up build. Your, your build's gonna be fucked up, Ariel. Does VPT work for nades? No. It does not. VPT was an optimistic choice a long time ago. I think instead of the two engineers in that last mission, I, need, I needed like a double shooter, like an infantry, honestly, thinking about it. I also think I can't afford to bring two medics to arrive right now, I need the damage output too much. Can you even flash a sniper MMR? I have no idea. Assumedly with a strike rifle. I feel like that would be a thing. I think scouts can get flash, so... 
You should be able to. It's only 15 meld. You can keep doing it. If it lets you reroll the tree, that'd be amazing. Let's let's find out. It won't, but yeah, it won't. Okay. So that's how it works. Oh, that's right, because we were saying we should do it for an extra 5 meld, but I don't know how to do that. So we're just going to go Tandem Warheads. You're going to be a Grenadier. Tandem Warheads. Bombard won't help as much as it would usually because you don't have the Grenadier perk to make him go 20% further already, but it'll still be good. Yeah, reset the class. You're probably right, Thick Crisis. Um, yeah, Tandem, Flush, Bombard, and Packmaster. That's going to be the build, I think. Maybe I should combo Shredder ammo with Fire Rocket. This is like never useful on anyone you see it on because it like has to roll like a gunner basically to be useful or a Rocketeer. Maybe I could pair this with Fire Rocket because you never see Fire Rocket either. Never seen Fire Rocket or if I have, we didn't take it. Random, flush, bombard, pack monster. It'd be nice to um, roll stuff like fire rocket because I'm always trying to make fucking rockets, so it'll be very helpful. Good day, sniper. Yeah, congrats to Ariok for basically rolling every single perk you don't want on a sniper. I mean, to be fair, bring him on. I guess Sharpshooter, VPT. If Combined Arms had worked, you could have been good, but it doesn't. Anyway, you're a new breed this time. You're going to be very special. And you're going on the operation! My little gamer, where are you? You're going on this op. Combined Arms doesn't work. No. I even tried making him an officer. Maybe that broke it more. But I tried making him a lieutenant, and it didn't work either. Why doesn't see it work? It just doesn't. We just noted against drones just wasn't doing the extra damage, it felt. Didn't seem to work, as far as we could tell. Okay, HE, yeah, but mostly want to bring those APs. You're gonna be a very interesting sniper. You're very, very not sniper. You're basically not a sniper. You're an engineer. What do you call an engineer sniper? Tell me while I get a, another bite of my pizza roll. So tasty. Mmm. Mmm, oh, oh. Guns in here. Fucked. Pizza's just fucked. <laughs> I actually like that. <laughs> Let's go. Where's Nero gone? Down here because they're on the mission. Want some absorption? Not exactly, not until I see what else you roll. It's time to start picking shit though. Could bring a scout engineer here, could be good. Sucks to pass up lock and load before you know what else you could get, but again, it's only 15 mil. It's not as expensive as it used to be. Fear is better. It is, but I like just calling them fucked. I think we're gonna go Packmaster. And maybe Scanners. If you roll plus one HP, I might consider Absorption though. I mean, this could be good. I always think this isn't useful because you need high health for it, but maybe it is good against Mectoids and shit. Battle Scanner would be good though. We really lack Scanners, so this is probably the smarter choice. Scanners can be useful. Although, would scanners help me in the last mission? No. Maybe, not really. But it, you're like, passing up a Packmaster scanner in particular isn't a smart idea. That, that's a lot of scans. Actually, it's only two. No, wait, you get two by default, don't you? 
Yeah, so it is three. It would have let you see your fuck before you got there. True, I would have seen the three mech toys maybe evac sooner. That's a fair point. Let's hit this first. You did roll the health level up. I... Hmm. I think... I'm gonna go up scanners. Sir, do we know the map? We should. Yeah, butcher shop, that's right. That's smart. Captain Kors says, Took a while to think, but if I were to combine sniper and engineer, I'd go over some artillery words like mortar or howitzer to reflect throwing explosives to specific areas. That's that's a very clever idea, Captain Kors, and you put a lot of thought into that. I like that. Well, we are going to go with fucked, uh, but I do like your nicknames for next time. Those are good. Dodge Black Viper. That was like what it is long, yeah. Mortar or howitzer is like, if I was writing the script for like a movie or a book, what their nickname should be. It's like, it makes sense. It's, it's, think about it, think about the layers. In reality, they're probably more likely to be called this one. Oh, it's Ariok. Yeah, what's up, fucked? You are fucked, mate. Should we bring Black Viper, do you think? Is Adrenal the cheese farts? It's the HRT fields. This level of speed could be quite good on Butcher Shop. Maybe. Good for activating everything. I need Rocketeers, of which I have none. Your turn, Ezekias. Get into it. I really want to take Neural Damping. I think I need smoke. I think we saw Lost Mission. There's just never enough smoke, and especially having it on one person makes it bad. But we also saw last mission that smoke doesn't combo super great with Rocketeers. You have to, like, smoke then steady, or smoke then shoot. But if you smoke then fire a rocket, your rocket's fucked. Neural Damping does keep your Rocketeer from getting fucked by Sectoids, which is another huge problem for Rocketeers. But I just lack smoke. I feel like this is the much better choice if I had a good amount of smoke on my other soldiers. But I have, like, a criminal lack of smoke across my roster this whole campaign. So I think I need to take Smoke and Mirrors, because I just need more of it. This is the optimal choice, but this is what I need, because I don't have it. Sucks, because this, this would be a good pickup. Swift says Neural Dampening is a, like, what if they just target someone else? Yeah, but with a Rocketeer especially, it sucks when they like walk up and like your Steady Rocket gets Mind Frayed, and now you can't deal the mech to it or whatever. So just need Smoke, unfortunately. So I guess I need a second Rocketeer, please. Hey, you leveled. What else did you get? Why the fuck do you have Locker Load and Suppression on the same tier? And double tap. Fuck you! Because you didn't want to miss out on any of these great perks, did you, Beagle Rush? Oh yeah, fucking great! I'm so glad I can have Bio, Covering Fire, Depth Perception instead of fucking Locker Load and Double Depth Suppression! Choose. Choose, Beagle Rush, choose! Ah, uh, for fuck's sake. Lock and load. I need more double shots, but maybe lock and load and bet on getting a better double shot perk next rank. Like light him up or something. Or like in the zone or something. This will at least allow me to reload and steady. There is synergy there. Meanwhile, on this tier... Uh, Rocketeers just don't have very good fucking ammo, so double tap is kind of shitty on them anyway. I could, I could take non-lock and load suppression. I could also do that, that's true. More suppression is never bad. But lock and load might be better. Fake Crisis says, what about a house rule that you can skip a rank's perks to get a second perk at another rank via console? Ha ha ha! OP! I'd love it. OP. Not gonna happen. Too overpowered. That would be so fucking... That would be so broken. Yeah, fun idea. I love that you're looking out for me. But that would be so fucking broken. Okay. 
Bio is meh. It does have good stats though. Obsidian says, Hello, Beaks and Jam. My name is John Kramer. Welcome to my game. You must choose between these perks. Hmm. Probably Bio. Gives them ability as well. Depth perception gives defense. Pokemon says, if you do not choose in 15 seconds, I will release the Gauss. Hmm. Uh, Clactic says, you can you can config training where like plus so that certain perks never appear at the same rank for the next campaign. No, I know. I just didn't do that because I wanted to keep it random like this. This sucks, but like it's fine. It's like a fair kind of suck. It's the same as like when you get like an AQO or a bug skipper and you're just like, they have all the best perks. It's just part of the game. It's part of the randomness. Bio. You could go covering fire. You get opportunist, which is always good, isn't it? It's never bad to have opportunist. You get opportunist. You get two aim compared to three. You don't get one mobility, but I don't really care that much about one little mobility. Maybe covering fire. Like, opportunist is not a bad thing to have at all. Ivan says, how about how about this? At any point you can get rid of a unit and replace them with a free new one of the same name and class they have to start over at squatty. No. I think covering fire lock and load. That's what I'm gonna do. Karen says covering fire means damage on enemies that just stand and shoot, like for example, mectoids. Yeah, but you can also just shoot them. Unless I get like a sentinel perk, I can just shoot them. But maybe I'll get sentinel later, who knows. Anyway, it's what we're doing. We're doing covering fire and lock and load. It's the best I can build out of you, I think. Corden says, if you want to get replaced, you have to re-raffle yourself like how I did. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Oh, finally we get to see Friendly's uh, sergeant perk. I've been waiting since after Friendly's first mission to see, because their perks are so fucked up, what build we would make them. We finally, on sergeant, are going to get to see how we should build Friendly. What the fuck are these? Friendly, what the fuck is wrong with you? Friendly, what is wrong with you? Why are you built this way? Why do all your- what, they're all bad! What is wrong with you, Friendly? I guess body shield. I guess you're like a medic's medic. God, all your perks are bad. Peach says VPT lock and load and adrenal. That's precision shot. It's not even usable. <laughs> oh my god, I think... Oh, fucking hell. Macrophages. Packmaster. Body shield. Medic's medic. Go for a medic's medic. High defense. You watch, at, if Friendly lives to Lieutenant, they'll get like something that would have made all this make sense. What would they have got, like Fire Rocket? I don't know, anyway. Macrophages, complete immunity to poison and acid. Medkits heal more on the soldier, which is like if you were tanking. Maybe you'll like roll an extra health here. Nope, okay. Isn't sure to like really useful? Yeah, it also doesn't fucking work on anyone except LMGs. It, and Rocketeers, it turns out. Doesn't work on anyone but Gunners and Rocketeers, which sucks. If Shredder actually fucking worked on the primaries of people who weren't Gunners or Rocketeers, it would be an incredibly good perk. Doesn't fucking work, though, which sucks. Even on Shotguns, which sucks, because there is a Shredder item for Shotguns. And yeah, we're just gonna go Medicking. Attack Master and Body Shield. Why doesn't it work on normal rifle shotguns? It's just not coded that way. Alright, I'm probably gonna bring you friendly though. Yeah, that's right, you need Shredder on NGs, that's right, Marla. It just doesn't work. It's really sad though. 
Makes it kind of a dead draw most of the time. Who else is coming? I got two Rocketeers, Medic, Scout, Sniper, Engineer. I need Gunners. I have no fucking Gunners. I gotta start new ones. I gotta start Specialist Gunners. Oh, two hours for Silent Bot. Let's wait two hours for you. Silent Bot. Who gets that choice now? Um, probably Packmaster for more Savior makes the most sense. Makes uh, very much the most sense. Boom. Done. That's good. Now, maybe it's the gunners I can't afford to have two of. Because I think I've been bringing double gunners to worry about, like, discs. But honestly, like... The clear and present danger is right in front of us. It's not about, like, squad sighting something of an LMG. It's about, that shit's right in front of you, bro. You need to kill it. So I think I need to just bring something that can kill. None of my infantry have, like, good damage, though. You suppress one last mission? I suppress many times. That's not the right mission to make your point on. I did a lot of suppressing. Who here can fucking help me? Probably not you. Mayhem has spoiled me. I need that mayhem damage back. You, you, you weren't trying to make a point. You missed the middle. Oh, okay, Dr. Ryu. I think I need, like, a heat infantry. That's what I need. Heat infantry. It could be you. Will be you. I always, uh, I always sort of get to take secondary hard on you, honestly, but it's gonna have to be heat ammo. There's no question. Oh, look at that though! You could have a secondary heart lightning infantry, but it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm scrolling past so many soldiers built like that already because it's not about that. I need damage. The main thing I lack is crit infantry. I need some fucking crit infantry. I just don't have any. That's probably one of the biggest things I'm missing, is the ability to just do damage. They have 50 mob too. I know, I know they have 50 mobility. I wish. I'm probably still gonna take lightning, but I'm just gonna take heat instead. As a scout. I know, I know it is, I know, I know, like... You could just get beat up by a berserker every mission and not even give a fuck. I know. But heat is just too valuable right now, I feel. Though it doesn't help us with berserkers, I guess. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe heart is better here. It makes you tanky as goddamn the gods. But like I said, I scroll past soldiers like this all the time. I need damage. I, I went looking because I need heat. Can I find anyone else who has heat already? That would be the only way I could justify not doing this. Please, I'm begging one of you to have heat. Yo, what are you? Hollow Medic. With Rapid Fire. Maybe you should come instead of fucking Friendly. Doesn't... Does Friendly have Savior? Friendly has nothing useful. Friendly is so fucked up. Friendly, don't come on the mission. I could go Rapid Fire and Hollow on you, which would be useful. On uh, Dr. Cock there. Who oh, I think he's a raffle. Did you get anything new? Okay. Hit and run is good. Hit and run is very good, and she's got body shield to stay alive. These are good things. What was cock again? Rapid fire and hollow. Hit and run probs better. Let's bring the hit and run medic, which means raffle time. Shield absorption fields? I don't think so. Gunner, Rocketeer. Rocketeer. Engineer, Scout, Sniper, Medic. I could bring the other Medic, then I have two revives and I have two shooters, but no, I want the Heat Infantry, I think. I need that Heat Infantry. I hate how much I need that Heat Infantry. Very upset that I need that Heat Infantry, but I do. 
This is a good infantry too, honestly. You could go rapid plus hit and run. We have no lock and load, you have the ammo. You're not really my, my killer right now. Oh, another mayhem sniper, that's big. This is a crit builder. Go, bring him on, Mayhem. That's good. Miss on Executioner, sadly. But bring him on, Mayhem is not bad. It's actually pretty good. Would you rather have a bring him, bring him on, Mayhem strike rifle? Or a heat infantry? Maybe just a strike rifle. Their aim's way better than the heat infantry, too. And it's less of an ammo problem. Maybe maybe bring the Mayhem Sniper. Uh, Scout Sniper, sorry. Do you have Gauss for the moment? True, I did just get Gauss Rifles, actually. Heat Gauss Rifle Inventory would be good. You're, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Let's go that infantry. Because as much as I hate to do it, I do know it's the right choice. Thank you for reminding me about the Heat Infantry, I forgot. Oh, it is one of these. Let's do it. I know it's the right choice. Your aim fucking sucks, though. Holy shit. That's a bit better. Alright. Load him up. Water laser for butcher shop. Savior, yes, please. We got a few raffles here. We got Othic, Uranova, Perrin, and Bataglia. Ezekias is a real soldier, though. So we got four raffles. How do you join their soldiers list? All you have to do is type an exclamation mark raffle. <laughs> I wish I were. Exclamation mark raffle, get it in. Probably a bad sign that I'm taking four new recruits on this mission. It's a sign of what we already know about. Attrition. What's your build? It's old Vigilo here. Because they're always going to be watching that lock and load. You get hit and run, I think, for sure. The hit and run is just really fucking good. No matter what you do. What do you call a doctor that hit and runs you? Not an ambulance chaser. What do you call a doctor that hit and runs you? Knock knock. Doctor hit and run? Fuck off! You're lucky it doesn't fit. Because I actually like that. <laughs> I want to fit that. To hit and run. Why can't I have it? Dr. Nick? Oh, that actually is pretty fitting. Kevorkian. I mean, yeah, I see the logic. <laughs> Soidberg. Dr. Feel that. Dr. H&R, Malpractice, Doc Knock'em, <laughs> Doc, there's a lot of really good choices. I like Doc Knock'em. Cause you, you, you know, that was cheating, it goes to my dick kick'em, Duke Nukem sensibilities. Doc Knock'em is, it is. That's too good. Give me uh, the infantry helmet for you, because you're a bit of an infantry. Uh, I gave you revive, yep. You got revive. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. I may need to just bring more megas on you, we'll see. Doc, knock them till you try them. You're sorry. You're not sorry enough, I don't think. Okay, you are a bringer of tasty things, so you can bring some smokes. Have jam, rub your Buddha belly for luck. 
no. I'm not gonna do that. Thank you for your suggestion. Well, even typo, you said knock knock him till you try him. What does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Stoops says I've been laughing over Dr. Feel Bad for the past minute. I'm fucking dying. <laughs> it is kind of funny. What's your build? Your build is... Battle scanners are kind of like drone observation, right? So you... Okay, there you go. Have Jammer of your bald head for luck? Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna do that either. <laughs> knock knock him! Pole! <laughs> what the hell is that pole? Knock knock him till you try him, I'm sorry. She knock on my cock him till I... Uh, shut the fuck up, none of you are funny. Grab your own head for luck? Okay, I can do that. Oh, right, you're the- you're fucked, that's right. Forgot about you. That means I don't have enough strike rifles. Shid. Who's running the shotgun this mission? Maybe it's that scout, actually. Oh, no, 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 because I didn't bring the other scout, so it works out fine. Because we're bringing... Dun 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 dun! Gauss Rifle! Heat ammo Gauss Rifle will save us! You're not from America, you can't be septic. What are you? I broke your stupid crap, moron. <laughs> it makes sense to me. Scope and respirator. Yep, you're good. Sorry guys, it's a, it's a scout thing. Oh, you get a raffle too. Hang on, we're almost ready. I was gonna do that last. Ezekias, you look cool as fuck. I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave your hair one off because you just look so fucking cool. Is there any way you could like look cooler? What do you think? I think he looks cooler without the sunglasses and the beret. I think he looks cooler. Like this. Looks way cooler. He's bald like Van Dorn. Please be our new Van Dorn, Ezekias. That nuke is apt for you. Though, better would be Mushroom. Because it's Mushroom Cloud for nuke still for the big damage on a rocket, and also Mushroom Cloud for Smoke Cloud. So I remember you got smoke. Beagle, do you actually remember any of these things? Fuck no, I don't remember any of this shit. I just come back like in two weeks, I'm like, why are they called Mushroom? Hmm. Okay. Rapid fire, smoke and mirrors, will survive. Someone called Thanos? Bad news about Thanos, PG. You are just a smoker. You're pretty standard. Just a pretty standard smoke engine. Let's bring a lot of smoke on you if we can. Bring extra HEs for this CQB map too. I think you deserve a shotgun as well. Or you would if it was finished. You get like a shitty shotgun, I guess. How close is it to being done? How do you do this again? How do you get it to fucking... 
Isn't that what you do? Don't you just like buy and refund something? Just keep ordering shit till it decides to work. Okie dokie. Wonderful. And uh, yeah, the sky is just too far away. You have to buy until the list gets long enough to have a scroll bar. Oh, that actually makes sense. Cool, thank you. I didn't realize. That actually makes sense. Ariok. Can I promote you to a captain? I actually can. Okay, let's fucking go. Let's get that DR. Seventy-four percent of you said knock knock 'em so you try 'em. Democracy wins again. <laughs> captain fucked, gone from lieutenant fucked to captain fucked. Okay. One more Gauss rifle to go around and then we're pretty set. Who deserves a Gauss rifle the most out of the rest of you? Maybe the hit and run medic with 76 aim? Maybe the rapid fire NG actually. But your aim sucks. Your aim sucks a lot. So maybe not you. Besides, someone's gonna bring the shotgun. Okay, yeah, probably... Probably you with hit and run. You guys have better things to do anyway. So yeah. Doc Knockham's gonna knock him pretty fucking hard, actually. Don't forget raffle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, it's raffle time. Exclamation mark raffle, the first winner, Dan Othic. Vigilo, this soldier comes with a nickname already, and they are... Cable Cabercan. Cable Cabercan, you have one. That's a new name for ya. You're in Nova, the much sought after Doc Knockham. That's Robin Bird. Robin Bird has a picture, profile picture of a penguin holding a gun at you, so it's pretty fitting. That was Robin Bird. Perrin, nickname Obama. Oh no, it's PG Tips for real. It's for real PG Tips. Actual PG Tips raffle. And the last one, don't worry everyone, you could still win. It's... Hi, Jokow. Don't I have one of you already? No, I, I don't think I have a Hydro Cow. I think I have a Hydro Cow. Let me check. That's the one I just named. No. No, no hydro cows here. Yes, the Petrino, that's the one we just named. No, we're good. Alright. I have some smoke. I have a good amount of smoke actually this time for once. I have technically two engineers, I guess. We well, are like bringing in smoke so it works out. Marla, please says, can we pay extra for the kitchen aliens to acquire a preferential targeting asking for a friend? I'm afraid you can't. Why is my nickname Obama? Uh, drones, that's why. Please let PG Tips die in this mission. Yeah, you- <laughs> I didn't realize- I knew PG Tips was like a heal to me, personally, but I didn't realize PG Tips had earned such heal status to all of you. When did this happen? When did PG Tips become the, the stream heal? This is great because PG Tips deserves it. They've richly earned this, but I don't know when it happened. Today with a pilot. That's actually true. Yeah, you literally did something today. <laughs> true. <laughs> I forgot about that already. Okay. I want you all to go out there and do your best. Touching down. Our target site is near the German border. 
We've just received another report of an abduction in progress in a densely populated urban center. If we allow the aliens to succeed, it's going to spread panic throughout the area. Yeah, I'm fine. 